Good evening everybody, welcome to Pockets, welcome to the Money Magic Extravaganza, and uh, I'm joined by this cluster, so I'm trying to see Jameson, welcome everybody. I'm just going to apologise in advance, for what? Uh, what I might say. That's okay, yeah, so, so I'm a multiple... Eight ball major winner, Jason to my left, uh, has uh, won the MVP, I think, in Division 4 eight ball in, in Mildura, I believe. Um, but I think he was on the committee or something in that league or, or something. So, um, so, great credentials. And we're into the second frame of this um, money match. I think it's for $5,000. You think? Maybe uh, Dan can remind uh, remind me what the, the purse is. Five thousand dollars, mate. That's why it's a five thousand dollar money match. Oh yeah, you'll you'll know all about purses, Jason. Mm. Yeah. So a uh, nice starter there for, I for Shane on the, the in yellow. Up for you. I think Shane's forgotten to nominate, which is uh, a new rule that's come in. What's this? You have to nominate now. You do, there's a new rule that's coming, you have to nominate now for uh, for an open table situation. Whether you break or not? Uh, after the break. And if any time you reach the table, there's an open table. But the, right. the players aren't calling fouls on each other because it's just been implemented. Okay, so Alec took the first frame. Made the trip over from Adelaide. So who's your money on, Steve? I think I think the unfortunate there Shane going off. Um, I think the the smart money would be on Alec, I suppose, being the the goat of eight ball in Australia. Not nothing he hasn't done, and uh, you know Shane. He's Shane done a bit more than you, hasn't he? Shane, the underdog. Uh, Shane's yeah. probably done more than you. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure most people have. Right? Mm. It's only you that hasn't. Yes, because uh, I don't play. That's right. If you did mm. play, I mean, how c how good would you be? Jeez, <laughs> unbelievable! Everybody would be shaking in their boots. Most people would be, yeah. But the good thing is, is I don't play because I just find eight ball to be full of people like Steve Jamison. Oh. Actually, no, people aren't that bad. But you know, some of them are, you know, average sort of people. Yeah, and um, I'm a much better person than most people. Yeah, well, it's it's actually not about you; it's about the match. So we'll go back to the action, and uh, yeah, shout out to everybody at Empire who's no doubt watching this on the big screen in Adelaide. There'll be Michael Cazziola sitting on the edge of the bar with with his uh, baby sham. James Georgiadis will be at home, still doing lineups on his nine ball table with his pink glove and uh, Mick Delahunt, he will be there with the Delahunty clan having a, probably a barbecue today, the weather's good. You know, they say in commentary that there shouldn't be any silence, but sometimes it's actually quite nice to have some when you're talking, Steve. Oh, thanks, Jason. If you wouldn't mind Cheers. just not talking as much. No worries. We appreciate no it. No worries. I like a little bit low on this, right? He it's deliberate so that he can you know, slide past this black is his hope and pro possibly can in the yellow on the left hand side of the table um, just missed the pawn 
So this is a great chance for Shane. Shane, uh, definitely the underdog. Just Do you want to stop your order? No. Earlier question. Oh. Uh, but but credit to Shane for stepping up to the plate to take on one of the best players in uh, Australia. Well, I don't think you should count him out, mate. I think you're just underselling him a little bit there. I didn't undersell him, so uh, I think uh, I think if he gets a good start, you've got to give him a chance. He, he will definitely have a chance. So I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have went into it unless he thought he had a chance. I think you need to back your mates a little bit better, mate. Uh, thanks for that contribution, Jay. Uh, I'll just speak to Dan shortly and get, uh, arrange a, an alternative commentator. And who's Dan? You don't even know Dan's name. Spielberg. Dan oh, Spielberg Darren Lynch. S Darren Spielberg, right. Okay, no, it's, it's Dan, not Darren. Oh, no, you said Darren, though. Yeah. You've obviously not been around eight ball for a while, so we'll uh, give you your shortcomings, both uh, on the table and in your, in your trousers. All right, mm -hmm. so here we go with black ball. Big black for Shane. Really needs to get this. And he hasn't. Oh, gee. Okay, so um, you may need to settle a little bit. Yeah, the, the Put plenty of Shane, pressure, no doubt. Shane wouldn't be used to these conditions. Um, the spotlight. I don't remember him playing any high-profile money matches before. So no need to settle down. I'm sure his family's at home watching, and, and uh, I know they're big supporters of Shane. It's, I think it's his auntie or his grandmother or something he often talks about. Um, so this will take a lot of pressure off Alec taking a 2-0 lead. Having lost to Michael Scarry last night, 13-12, having missed a black. We'd just come into this a little bit um, a little bit hopeful of a good start. I think if Shane got the jump on him it would have been would have been um, interesting to see how Alec would respond to that. Uh, but the perfect uh, start for Alec really uh, I think it we got a clearance or something in the first game, and then an opportunity missed by Shane in the second, which Alec has punished. So 2-0 to, to Alec. Race to 21, $5,000 pot, so I think that's uh, two, two and a half grand each. Oh, so that's two and a half thousand each, not... It, it is two and a half each. Right. Thank, thankfully, I went to school, unlike yourself, Jason. And no, uh, well I thought it must have been five thousand each. But I mean, I don't have a five thousand dollar money match unless I'm putting up five grand. That's just the way I talk, though. But why must it? I have don't try and oversell things like some people. Why must it have been five thousand each? <laughs> so Shane breaking in. Frame three really, is he really would like a break and clear here just to get a, f a, fin no. a foothold in the match. He's got a ball, I think. It's not a bad bust. He's got a ball down. Mm. It's a nominated red. Yeah, you don't nominate in these rules, uh, Jason. Well, he it's just, international well, he just rules. nominated red. Oh yeah, he, well, he, he, if he did, it's because it's a new rule that's come in. But thank you. So thank uh, you for telling me you don't nominate when you actually do, Steve. <laughs> Remember, I'm trying to learn these rules. It's actually quite funny. Okay, thanks uh, to uh, Jessica from... Vancouver for tuning in, just checking out the, the chat to see who's, who's watching and uh, uh, Ripple Aqua calling a, a bloodbath Alec Wynn early uh, James Mekif saying settle down Mr. Intermediate, must be referring to to you but surely, surely amateur would be more, more appropriate no, for you. Could not possibly be referring to me, Mekif's is an actual mate of mine, unlike you He's a decent fella, and he's probably talking about you trying to be someone when you actually know one. Oh, well, thank you, James. Thank you, Jason, for the compliment. Oh, no, I'm, I back James all the way. 
Okay, so um, back to the match, Shane. We'll be disappointed to, to miss the red in the corner. Alec, with a difficult opportunity here. These yellows are not easy. Certainly someone of Foster's class would, would get nowhere near these, but Alec, I a good chance. I am likely to pot out on yellow, but only if I fluked one. Okay. Usually I rely on a couple of flukes, so that shows you how easy it is. Yeah, that, that attributes any victories you've had in your pool career, Jason, down to a few flukes. Yeah. Well, the difference between me and you, Steve, is I'm not proud. And I admit it. But. It's definitely not all over. Yet. Yeah. I like Shane will settle, mate. Don't worry about that. He'll settle in a little I like bit. Going into the harder yellow here. And he's played it well. I wonder white. what the purpose of that was, though. Well, the other, there was no positional option for him on the straight yellow to the left corner, so he needed to, to get movement on the white. Mm. And uh, played it really well. It, it's obviously a shot outside of your skill level, but, but still... Well, that's um, nothing unusual. Wonderful, wonderful shot. And this, this connects nicely if you just... Uh, holds the white where the yellow is, and it'll be on the one to the right middle. And uh, a bit of work to get on the black, though, so not a bit of golf left in this frame. Yeah, very... Is it just me, or are they very easy along it's the rails on these It's just you. They're, they're actually playing quite tight. Actually, at the moment, it's not just really. It's not just you. No, that was that was just executed perfectly by the ice man. And uh, he's gone for the corner pocket, which arguably would was a through to the ar center? arguably would it was a harder positional shot and with a bit more risk. But maybe he sees more reward this way. The running, I think the, he's got the a table seems to be running very nice and quick. Are it they, is. Are they really fast? They are really fast. I'm pretty sure Alec or someone here would have um, ironed the table as well prior to the match. He's got a nice angle on this yellow, and he's also got the insurance of the red covering the in off near the black, so he might even play to hit the red here. No, he's like played it perfectly. That's a very good shot. Yeah, he's on this. Most players would, would slot this black in. Not 100% not you would, Jay, but uh, most no, players no. would just slot no, this no, one in. And um, there we go, 3 0 to Alec Bernardes. You know what I'm surprised about here, though, Steve? What's that? That Alec didn't change colours halfway through. And why is that a surprise, Jay? I just I thought that's what um, good players were meant to do because when you played um, Jake in the final at Berry, isn't that what you did? So isn't that what you meant to do? I, I, I'm getting confused no, now. Cause that, no, you're confusing that with... with um, that was a deliberate foul to give Jake a chance. I think I was at the time 2-0 up. Felt sorry for the for the, for the guy. Did, didn't did didn't want to smash him. And, how you know, many games did you win? In what? That match. I lost that match 5-4, uh, I think. 5-3. Mm. So you won one more game after giving him a chance. Yes. That was worth it. Yeah, that's mm. right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so you don't actually have to go for a different colour halfway through. No, not unless you want to give your opponent a chance. Which, as I say, I did. <coughs> Dry break from Alec. Uh, back to the match rather than Jason's obtuse commentary. Um, you know, actually, something I didn't consider. What's that? Was me having to hold back, barracking for Shane. <laughs> I keep going to go. Come on, Shane. I didn't think that would be a. An no, issue, as, a, as a commentator, probably because I'm a mate. As a commentator, a mate. you you need to remain neutral. Uh, but this mm. is all part of your learning process as a commentator in Australia. There's no way I'm going to. I'm almost again. taking. If if I'm going yellows here, I'm actually going real first on the bolt cushion, into the yellow under the red. Take it. Wow. Uh, okay, so. At that pace, the, the the way the tables are playing, which is quite tight, 
that, that surprises me a bit. But Shane's gone so for that. Talk I think. to me. Talk to me about the rules here. So it's an open table. Um, in the pro series coming up, you will need to nominate here on, on an open table situation. And this is the rules that they're playing for here, right? Yeah. Yep. So th that ball covering the yellows, if Alec decides to just run the yellow up onto it and pot it, yep. then it's only one shot change of turn. It is. Yeah. Okay. So no, nothing else than that. No. Wow. It's an excellent pot. So Alec now has the, the red ball colour grouping. And these, these are still tricky. He may choose to... Can I ask you why he went yellow? I mean red. I think... I think because the yellows are more difficult. So oh, good shot there. Shot. Lovely shot. So Alec will be taking the, the middle of these three reds in the middle of the table if it goes to the centre pocket because he'll want to play the cannon on the red to the right hand side down into the bottom right corner pocket. That's his only difficult ball that remains is that, that kind of red on the, the right hand side. And they opt, they opt a different path here. So he's probably aiming to go into the yellow here, I'm guessing. Off the cushion. He can throw him. Yeah. That's worked out perfectly. He didn't want to pot the red there, so the only challenge with, with going this way is that he he leaves his hardish red, which is the one he's looking at in the middle. Um he needs to know position on that, whereas the other way he would have sort of been naturally isn't on the risk, it. Isn't the risk going from the top of the table? Oh no, he's done that. Ah, uh, so that's a smart move. move. So yeah, Alex done, done a, an excellent thing there to... Oh yeah, that he's, he's at corner in that case. And that's a perfect positional he's shot. He's got it on the string, hasn't he? He does, yeah. Does that black go? Obviously, fairly easy, otherwise, you wouldn't just go like that. But. Okay, so I like taking a 3 0 lead. Okay, so 40 degrees outside, both players wearing trousers. Bit of a surprise, I thought they would have donned a pair of shorts today. They're probably just respectful, Steve. Something that you uh, probably aren't that familiar with. Oh, thank you. So what's um, going on with Shane's shirt? Just mm -hmm. That's better, Dan. Sorry, we just had a bit of a sound issue there. It's a little bit loud, Dan. So... Um, just Jeez, that's unusual him saying that, I and mean, then he can hear his own voice. Just turn me down a little bit, and you can turn Jason off while you're there. Thanks, mate. Steve's lovely break from Shane. Well, I actually don't say much. Lovely break from Shane, then please shut up. Um, so, yeah, lovely break there from Shane. He would really like a, a yellow here, because the yellows look better. Uh, I think Just either. got a slightly harder opener on yellow than red. Uh, and being 3-0 down, a little bit of pressure on this shot, slotted it in nicely. Okay, so one feels he needs to take these to get a foothold in the match. I think he'll be taking the, the yellow above the black as his last ball. Just... Uh, for your purpose there, Jason, I know you wouldn't be able to map more than one or two shots ahead, so just give me a bit of knowledge. Uh, plans are made to change, mate. No point setting anything in concrete.
point's pretty much perfect. He'll just top through the bottom left yellow now. Leave himself um, three quarter ball on the, the bottom, the yellow under the black. To, uh, I think he'll suck back off the one beside the black and then in and in and in. Yeah, there's a couple of ways he can go here. I just like the natural way of, of the way that uh, I predicted. And he doesn't have to go anywhere near those reds on the side. It's pretty much perfect. Now he'll pull this white back to the left cushion here just to ensure that he doesn't go near those reds above the left side of the black. Executing bottom left hand spin, inverted drag on the cue ball. F log. And a very perfect good shot, Shane. Perfectly executed. So just take your time. Shane Should actually a got a few time. lessons off of me. Is that right? Time, yeah, oh yeah oh I've okay. had to spend a bit of time with him. And yeah, yeah he said he had some psychological issues previously. Was it because of that? Yeah, that's just showing showing you how, uh, how they've actually started to come to fruition now. So a big relief for Shane there, getting the first frame on the board. Um, would you know how that feels, Jason? Have you ever won a frame? Well, yeah, I did once. I played butters at Big Guns. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, I think I lost 11-1. Oh, okay. So, yeah. who, stick that in your, in your pipe and smoke it, mate. Who's, who's butters? Can you, for, the audi for the audience at home, people might not know who that is. I obviously do. Well, people who don't know who butters are are stupid. But uh, it's Peter Butterworth, mate. Okay. Um, yeah. and also a decent human being, unlike yourself. Oh, thank you for the uh, detail there. Mm. Okay, that white is tracking to the corner. It stayed out. He's got a ball. Shane would have loved another visit there, but uh, Alex not got an easy opener. He'll probably go reds, I'm guessing. Depends if that yellow on the left-hand side, bottom left, goes to the bottom left corner. If it does, he'll play the long yellow. If it doesn't, he'll play the, the red in the middle of the table to the left centre. Yep, it, that, that tells you that it does go. And he is taking the harder yellow to open up the frame and give him a much an easy finish if this goes in it's not oh. there it's not there and but yeah. Shane gets a chance he's Shane's very unlucky not to be on a yellow here I think uh, Alec will be delighted not to have left Shane a, a shot on the yellows so Shane no choice but to try the reds he's only got one that doesn't yeah, go yeah no, you've got that yellow beside the black that's not easy yeah I think He's on. He's going to take reds. He's going to yeah. come top cushion up well, here and try and cannon the black. I don't think he should shy away. Well, he's from trying that. to go straight into it. I, I prefer the cushion first there because you're guaranteed to be on the on the red in the middle. But he's still on it. He'll chop this in, come under the yellow on the bottom right, and try and cannon the black mm. if he can. I think he's going into the yellow though if he plays that red in the middle. Be a, could be okay. It's hard to say. Oh, hard try, to see try, to commit, try to commit to what you say, Steve. Don't don't try and get out of it, mate. Just no, either I, I it's like going to go into the yellow or it's not. I just prefer so to stay on the fence, Jason. Uh, yeah. 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 Because, you know, you know as someone, you as someone like who makes fences, you're, you're obviously sitting on them all the time. Well, I find that offensive. Oh, well, my apologies. My apologies. Okay, so Shane, got a, he's got a thin chop on the red in the bottom left corner, which you would be lucky to get within two feet of, Jason. Can he cut it in? Sorry, what did you say? I was just saying it's Shane on reds. And he's played it like you would. Um, so 4-1 mm. to Alec. Has he offered, um, has he opened this yellow up near beside the black? Yeah, these yellows are mm. frankly tap-ins here. Hmm. So you'll yeah. that was um that could have been a really good opportunity for Shane to put a little bit of pressure back on Ace. 
Yeah, just getting back into the match. Yeah. I think if Alec goes 5 1 here, which is very likely, it, it just sort of gives Alec a bit of distance between his balls. Well, I don't really sort of care where Alex's balls are, but. It's good. I'm surprised. I thought I oh thought that was your inclination, Jason. So yeah, a bit of a careless mistake there from Alec, which uh, that's also going to make it a little bit of a bit tougher to transition. I would have really liked those two as my last two for the black and try Same. and mop up the other end of the table. Same, but the difference is I would have done it. You probably would have stuffed it. Yeah, probably right. Okay, so Alex fouled there, so it's ball in hand for Shane. What, what, what was he going for? I don't understand. He was trying to, I think he was trying to hit the yellow next to the red and clip the red first. Oh so uh, so Shane was really so surprised Shane, at that shot. So Shane back on the red, so he's got one red down the rail. Now these pockets have tightened up a little bit. How so do they tighten up a little bit? Through wear and tear. You don't know that? No. No. It doesn't surprise it me. It sounds to me like you like the sound of your own voice, but it doesn't surprise me that you wouldn't know that. So I'm surprised Shane's. So wear and tear would open them up a bit. I, I thought Shane would have started. As far as I'm got a computing, but anyway. Apologies for uh, the commentary, folks. Just we um, I didn't want to have to talk over him <laughs> as much as I am. Oh, that, that actually rolled see out. See what I see? That so rolled out. Yeah, I noticed last night a shot that Michael Scary played into that pocket. It rolled out a little bit. Mm. And uh, as you can see from that example, these tables have tightened up a bit just through wear and tear. Mm. Um, I'm not quite sure you're all there, but anyway. Okay, so Alec playing the skill shot here on the on the yellow. Do you know what a skill shot is, Jason? Yeah, isn't that what Jake played when you played the wrong colour? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he played a few of them to make. No, they don't exist in so much. They don't exist in world rules. Just say no if you don't know. No, no, I know. I don't think you do. That's well, a skill that's shot. a skill shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know. Unlike. No, you know, but you did not call it. Let's just. Well, I knew what it was. It's just I wasn't going to answer the question without bringing up the fact that you chose to go different colours halfway through a match with Jake. I mean, not with just someone else, but with Jake, and then go. Oh, I think he needs to win this because Ooh, Alex, I'm a retard. Alex missed the double. He's missed the double. I'm not going to bite on your your fishing rod for for mistakes that I've made in well, previous matches. I really, matches. really don't expect you to bite on my fishing rod ever. No, th th this is about the match. This is two players I know, doing two and a half ground each, and you choose to talk about yeah, look at that. matches I've played that. in Shane the past. Look at that, Shane's ripped there. I just think it's rude that you, deserves, should, that you should bring he up deserves to those, win those, this. You know, those polarizing tactics during a, a commentary session. It's, it's very juvenile. Mm. But a chance for Shane, it's not easy. Hopefully but it's if a you chance, listen to my chance. Hopefully if you listen to m to what I've got to say, you might actually realise that you need a lot of practice. Especially with this comp coming up that you um you whinged your way into. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna focus <laughs> on the match now, everybody. We don't want to, to hear about Jemo Wingy? Yeah, anything like that. Yes. It's a good shot from Shane. That'll give him a bit of confidence, that will. And if again, having to refrain myself from cheering him on. But. So he's just made sure of the red. He could have pumped that out a little bit more. Just to make this black a little bit easier, it's it's missable here. Hopefully he can slot it in and go to four two. Nah, it goes in all day long, mate. And that's a good shot. Well done, Shane. See, this is where if Alex was behind the queue, then you go, oh, 
it's five one up. But when Shane was behind the queue, then you go, oh, this is missable. I just don't think that's right, mate. I think you should be uh, you should be backing your mate a little bit better than that. I think you're showing the world that this is your first commentary session ever. No, no, I'm Apologies just Apologies in mate. advance, everybody at home. Thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, Michael Cassiola uh, says Karn Alec. So there's also, um, there must also be Collingwood fans in Adelaide, it seems. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you later about some of the, the jokes. If you don't get them, Jason, I'll, I'll tell you a bit later on. Uh, Warren it. Hume, the commentary is hilarious. Keep up the banter, boys. Thank you, Warren. Appreciate mm. the, uh, the comments. Thank you, Michael Cassiola, for the comment. And mm. uh, nice break from Shane there. Uh, he looks like he's getting the strut back. When Shane's playing well, he has this little strut. Uh, coupled with it's probably a little bit too late to be back in Shane, mate, after, this with the after the doubt that you've given through the commentary so far. Coupled with the... You need to, you know, make sorry, up your mind. Please don't interrupt on commentary. It's an easy mistake to make. It's your first time. Mm. Yeah, but coupled with a Scotland shirt, could have buffed his shoes a little bit more. Uh, they seem sort of... So this is why I interrupt, because buff. usually you've got nothing to say. So he's taken the reds here. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, a reasonable chance on reds. He'll want. He'll want to just. Look, I'm gonna want to play this with a bit of drag and leave the white as close to that top right red as he can, because he'll he'll want to cannon into the yellow after potting the one at the top right. So this is a very big drag shot. You you actually want to just hold on the red, I think. So. I I think he, he just heard me actually, sorry we have to keep our voices down, he just heard me and, and played the shot correctly, well done. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now he just wants to drop this in and then and then glide half, like quarter ball into the yellow, push it to the side cushion, leaving him on the other red. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, it's a nice shot. Beautifully played. And this will give him a lot of confidence. I actually don't understand these. why you're so surprised. This will give him a lot of confidence if he can clear these. What do you mean if? The game's over, mate. It's, it's, it's set up the next frame. He's got it. That's called commentator's curse. Thanks, Jordan Mitchell. Thanks, Sam Cullen. Sam, where is this being played? We're, we're uh, live from Vancouver uh, in Canada at the Pockets Pool Hall in Vancouver uh, for the um, Global Canadian Series of Pool. Okay, so a little bit awkward here, just left himself. He's got to sort of punch this because, uh, or just drop it in dead weight. So he's, uh, he's got to play a shot here. A little bit careless. Well, that's perfect. It uh, it was actually a pretty good shot, but um, you know anything that you want to try and take away from it, Steve, whatever. Great shoot and shame. Yeah, it was uh, Jason who actually said earlier today that he gave Shane no chance to win this match. So I just want to remind everyone that that was said. <laughs> that is not true. So this is where you see just the real Steve. Up, just to shut him up a bit. This is the real bring Steve me trying to get desperate. Scotty Parker's tuning in. Thank you for the And for if the you can't comments. hear already, Benny Hood's here. So I'm pretty sure you would have heard. Scotty Parker saying, uh, can we replace Jason Foster from the commentary? He's obviously not experienced enough. We, no, we're going to give oh him a chance. God. We want to give Scotty. him... Scotty, don't. don't we want to give him, him some... Man. He's a... He's a big enough flog already without your influence. We want to we want to give him some confidence, not not shoot him down straight away on his first uh, Guernsey. Okay, yeah, Shane got that one. So where are we at? Is it four two or four three? So four three. Shane's done well to get back into this match here after a poor start by his Is that from Paddy? By his high standards. I uh, know from Dan. From Dan. Oh, Dan. Thank you, Dan. And thank you for the beverage, Dan Lynch. Cubal TV doing an amazing job here with some 
fabulous new technology. Some fabulous new technologies. And, uh, and uh, I've just been made aware that it's open table from Mr. Hood. And I wish now the, now he's coming over. And uh, Ben Hood is in the room. They, they're clearly like anybody in here these days. Happy birthday, Jamo. He looks 65, but he's really turned 70 today. <laughs> Thanks for coming, mate. Nice to see you. I think... Um, I'm for Shane, not for you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Isn't that why we're all here? Mm. With your rainbow comments on Facebook, no one's quite sure. Again, I don't know what Ben's talking about, but we'll... So just to answer Sam Cullen's question, where is this being played? It's not in Canada. It's in Tullamarine, Melbourne, at the Pockets Pool Hall. And, um, I'm pretty sure he would have taken you seriously on that too. And Shane at the table again. So really, yeah, he's, really he's, starting, he's to starting to get a bit of a much. strut. Yeah, he's starting to get a strut. His nerves are f must be sort of settling a little bit, so... Yeah, yeah I know he's been dieting and... Uh, went to church last week. Dieting? He didn't yeah. need to diet, he needed to eat. No, no, he, he told me he's been on a strict diet of, of just cheese and uh, lemon, lime and bitters. Nothing else. And, uh, and he's visited the, the synagogue last R week. The synagogue? Yeah. Really? From Camp Vancouver? No, no, in Melbourne. We're in Melbourne, not Vancouver. I was just joking. Oh, now you got me confused. Now I don't know how to get home. So a little bit of a result on the... He went sort of around the table with the white, so a bit of a nice kiss. He's still okay here. He'll want to get rid of that yellow up the top left pretty soon. And uh, I don't mind him playing this bottom right yellow with heaps of top left gear. Um, you wouldn't. That shot wouldn't be in your repertoire, Jason, but that, that's the shot here. Top right... You just said top oh, left. Going, I'm oh, going, going why would you play top left? He's going for a screw. Okay, it's not worked out too bad. He would have liked to have been nicer on it, so he's going to have to go long yeah, if here. A, if he's a little bit flatter. He's going to have to go long with this yellow on the, the right-hand side, I believe. Unless he fancies the double. The double could be on. Why wouldn't Don't he just cut it in? Why, why cut it in with a bit of right-hand side? Just, just a little bit to come out. Well... This is your chance to shine. And I'm just asking the question, mate. I mean, I thought you were the expert who could have answered that. Well, let's see if you're right. Let's see. Well, he didn't go right hand. He went left hand, which is probably why he mucked it up. Safety first, as they say. He's uh, got a great result there. That uh, will be quite frustrating to Alec and the, the Adelaide fans back at Empire watching this on the big screen. Yeah, they'll be heartbroken. No doubt was there. Cooper's pale ales in their hand and a packet of chips. Just a turnover shot here, perhaps, or cutting it in the middle. He's cutting it in the middle. Oh no, just a turnover. Mm. That's an interesting Still choice. Learning it does, these rules. It um, does leave Shane a, an opportunity here. He just has to drop the one in the right hand corner. And then surely he has a chance. Where's the white end up, though? Near the, if he drops it in dead away, probably near the yellow spot, if you're on a snooker table. Really? Yeah, somewhere like that, or the brown spot. I think he's got a chance if he just drops this in. Oh, he overcut it. Yeah, was really wanted to get under that right there, mm. I think. But I don't think the angle was, was possible to do that, so. Uh, we have greatness entered the room. Ben Benjamin Noonan Benny is here. Noonan. He's sticking his finger up at Jamo and waving at me. I don't know why, but probably because he knows that I'm a decent fella and Jamo's not. So great to see you, Ben. <laughs> I hope he's not sharing the uh, contents of a private message I had with him earlier today with, uh, with the crowd over there. everyone wants to see those sort of pictures, Steve. <laughs> you could probably keep them to yourself a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so good chance here for Alec. Shane had a couple of chances in this frame. We'd be disappointed not to capitalise on them. Yeah, and he was starting to get a little bit of a, yeah. a run going too, so yeah. that'd be disappointing for him as well. So Alec, I can't see. Still got to be done. I can't see Alec missing these. They're sort of too easy. You see, now this is the point I'm making. 
What's the point? So now Alex is at the t Alec is at the table, and you're probably right. Alex is most likely not going to miss, but you don't say that for Shane. It's like you're jealous. It's like you you're, you think that he, maybe he's better than you, and I think I think you're right. I think maybe he is. You really think you're right? No, no, I'm saying you're a little bit in, you know, worried that he's better than you, and I'm, I think you should be. You should be worried. Well, he is better than me. There's, no, there's no question. He's beat you in a lot of finals. I don't know. Like, what was that big trophy you won? The Mooney Ponds Club Championship. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And there was, like, seven people in that. Has Mick Hill won that? Well, just answer the question, yes or no. I don't know what Mick Hill's won, mate. No, he hasn't. I rest my case. Hmm. You ever won the Sinaiti Masters? Back to the match. Please, mm. uh, you know, there's people like Stacey Vine watching this. We can't be commentating about you and me and all this rubbish. Let's actually focus on the game and give people a quality commentary. Yeah, well, I probably need to get Jamie Stevens in here instead of you, then. No, he's, got, he's getting married now. We won't see him for another ten years. So Alex, uh, he's not pulled that across as much as he would like. Still should be fine. And in these rules, there's no foul if you pop the yellow either. So really? No, no dramas with that. Just needs to slot that in, and he has to that extend that his lead. True? It is true, yeah. So the it's called a skill shot. I was referring to it earlier. Yeah, you, no, you I don't You seem to claim that I you knew what I it really was, and you actually don't. Really so you don't know nothing and are a loser. I really don't think you know what you're talking about, but... Mm, it's a little bit simple. Rick Bell has won it, Andrew. You're right. Thank and you for tuning uh, in, another, Andrew Miles. Another mate of mine who is a much better player than Jamo. And I, and to be honest with you, I think Rick shit too. So that just shows you what I think of Jamo. Look, you're starting to repeat yourself, Jason. It's showing an inexperience in commentary. Uh, back to the match. 5-3, Alec. Big, big uh, break here for Shane. Really wants to get a ball here just to stay in the match, keep his foothold in the match. Doesn't want to give Alec any space to. So Steve, extend his Steve lead. was actually quite nice enough to uh, give me a bit of advice on how to do commentary last night. Um, he goes, "We are on the commentary team tomorrow, also. Have you always wanted to commentate with me? <laughs> oh God, you're an absolute, yeah." I've, I've, I've told him, yes, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to come and trade with Steve Jamison. Uh, not. <laughs> uh, so I've said, um, no. And, go, and he's told me, you know, I'd just find a clean way of uh, hanging shit on him. And I just don't know how to do that. So he's told me to say things like, why why you wear ladies clothing steve rather than saying you are gay or is that a banana which i think was meant to be tight <laughs> banana <laughs> in your in your pocket for robbo i've got not quite sure oh, excuse me sorry for this folks we will just go back to the match now <laughs> so shane has developed that red nicely that was connected bit to of the inside of on the, uh, on the side what i think why i have uh, to uh Dan, you may want to find an alternative <laughs> commentary person. Just, just giving you a heads up. Um, so Shane, big red here. If he gets this, he's got a great chance, and it is. It's in. So taking your advice, not Dave. giving, not giving Alec any daylight here. I just have to ignore Jason in order to commentate successfully this afternoon or this evening, technically, because I believe it's after 6 p.m. Sorry, folks, for that uh, misjudgment. Okay, so it's a great shot from Shane. He really didn't need to do so much with the white ball, though. But, but as it's turned out, it's, it's actually perfect. So, so it actually Lovely was a shot. good shot. It was a great shot. Just a little bit extravagant for me in terms of the path. Well, so one of the 
one of the benefits of commentating is you you're only able to go to the bar and so you you miss um, getting a drink in for your mates That's fine. So that's uh, Steve Jamison admitting that he's tight and he's got arms extremely short that don't reach the bottom of his pockets where his wallet is so thank you for tuning in Wing C named after Jason's nickname in Noldura the, the C part so Shane looking can you Shane looking pretty confident. You don't need to reply to that. Let's just focus on the game. 5-4 uh, to Alec. The match poised nicely. Yep. Just I'm surprised you caught that. Just getting some deodorant from Mike Ballon. Brute. Brute. Just Brute. Um, Mike Ballon. I was Challenger actually, Series I sponsor. I wasn't going to uh, be rude, but... was <laughs> All I could say is I was about to say you could probably do with some deodorant, Steve. It's, it's a shame that we have to sit so close. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I've got a nose uh, block for you. Okay, so not a very hard break from Alec there, and no ball as well, so... Shame, shame with an opportunity. The balls are not great, though. He probably marginally reds, probably, but... The opener is there for, for both, actually. So, I don't know, reds or yellows, both tricky here. Mm. You yeah. would you would obviously get them easily, whichever yeah. whichever group so you took, Jason, this is what you, happens. Would, you would just get them. When I find myself in this situation, yeah. I usually just hit my first shot really hard. Yeah. And sometimes it works out. That's a good strategy. For any kids at home, if you want to learn how to... You map out successfully. Just take your first shot as hard as you can, and hope it works out. As a, according said, to Jason Foster, I said really hard, not as hard as you can. So now you're going to oh, confuse sorry. some kids out there. Oh, my apologies. I'm not quite sure what he is. Shane just missed the extraction on the left hand right there, which yeah. is going to make this out pretty tricky. The smart money here is to play uh, a safety shot. I'm not quite really? sure what that safety would be. Well, However, I think it is the I think it is the right call. Yeah. It doesn't have a pot that we can see in open play. Looks like he's going to try and do something like that. Yeah, that's great commentary, Steve. I'm so <laughs> glad you have an experienced commentary. Thank you for the, the message, Stacey. I'm not 50 yet, mate. You don't need to welcome me to the over 50s <laughs> club just yet. No, uh, we, no one can believe that because I'm I'm 48. As I said to I'm you, mate. 48, but as my girlfriend tells me, I'm like an 18-year-old, both in the, in the in the bedroom and in my mind. Yeah. So all that's telling me is you last about four seconds in bed, and you are immature. See, there's there's two ways you can see things. You always see the negative, Jason. That's one of the things I least like about you. Mm. Um, but as there's not much that's likable, it it's, it's probably one of the, 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 the biggest features as well, funnily enough. Okay, so, so Alec has managed to fluke a yellow there, and take a red out of play, and land quite nice. This is it's a massive piece of luck for Alec. And he could, in fact, take these out, Jason. You would not be able to finish these, but Alec certainly can. Well, he didn't actually expect me to say I, I could because it's not going to happen it's okay if you're short or white so I expected that well I just don't understand why you would go oh, Alex is the goat and for everyone to be surprised that Alex could do it and I couldn't I just I just find the commentary stupid you don't need to repeat what I say mate back to the game uh, we've got a nice nice angle here for Alex to take out his his uh, difficult yellow, although he's playing a double it, it seems to double I couldn't see that from the camera angle so this is mm. a big shot if this goes in he's probably got the frame it's not in yeah I thought it was a triple not a double but Shane has an opportunity here and I believe the red 
nearest, so nearest to Shane goes under the yellow in the middle. So you're saying that it's Shane's shot and he's got an opportunity. Yes. Amazing. And I think the red goes under the yellow in the middle. If he chooses to take it, he might go long, which is what you do on a Saturday night. You go to mm. that, uh, that mail club. Australia Post. Great shot from Shane. Needs to avoid the off. He has. He's got himself a double. It doesn't look easy. We could play um, this but shot. Um, unlike off yourself, the two I think he can. Unlike yourself, I think he can get this. Off the two yellows, so you've got one in the corner pocket off the yellow, and the other in the other pocket off the yellow, and then red in the corner just in front of the yellow, and then yeah, he might black he might in the middle. He may decide to go rail first and play the red up to the to the top end of the table, rail first into the yellow and cannon. But the does he go from one cushion to the other and back again, or what, how's he going to get on the second few, yellow, the second red? There's a few ways this can be done, none of which you could execute, but there's a few ways that it can be done. Oh, bad luck. Oh, unlucky. Uh, we say unlucky. It was a shit it's shot. It's, it's a little bit shit. Yeah, pardon my it French. It was a shit shot. Pardon, from, uh, pardon the French. For from Shane. He's normally much, much better than that. We can use a uh, better choice of words next time around. Jason and the S word. Sorry, the kids watching. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Ian Hinton, Kira Slutches has tuned in. Um... Jake McCartney's better half. And, uh, the only problem with everyone thinking we're hilarious, Steve, is we're not trying to be. Gavin von der Waal, thank you so much for tuning in. And oh, look, you've got a backer, Steve. Yeah, it's not surprising. I've been with, I've been with Gavin. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit too much information for the stream. Um, Kira Slutches, Managing Director of Desire to Sketch. If you, need, if you need any uh, murals or so just wondering, portraits isn't, isn't or Kira, isn't Kira Jake's other half? She is indeed. Yeah, the yes. same Jake that you Jake changed McCartney. colours on halfway through a game. Uh, that, that's correct. Yes. Yeah, and I was just checking. Yep. Well, that one there is uh, probably one of the only main f games that Shane will be kicking himself on. Yeah, but he's in this match. This is good stuff. This is definitely. Uh, you know, um, you know, there's only two players, and you can't have just one. So, not not unless you're They're playing. Both yeah, in it, mate. not unless you're playing. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, happy New Year, everybody who's tuned in. Uh, come down to the Pockets Pool Hall in Tullamarine if you've not got anything else going on. There's quite a few people here playing and having a drink and relaxing in the, the new year. Marty Andrews is here. If anyone wants to come down and see Marty and have a, a race to five with him, he's, he's ready, waiting. And um, he's happy to put $200 on it, he said. So any Temujin Dixons or anyone like that wants to come down, get yourselves down here. Marty said, I'm ready to take you out. So six four, um, Jason. What's what's your what's your thoughts on the first session as the players take a, a comfort uh, break? I think that um, it's Shane's Shane's slow start. We're yep. starting to get comfortable and stuff. I think he could have probably been maybe even in front. Yeah, uh, but done a few a few errors, which is probably because he's less experienced. I don't know. But I think he's, you know, he's missed a few opportunities, which is good because if he improves, then he's likely to get back into the match. Not that he's out of it, but... Sorry, what did you say? I didn't catch that. There's, there's um, an F log sitting beside me. OK, Shane to break. Very short break there for a mid-session interval. Um, Shane goes for the was top. It actually top spin break. Yeah, was it an actual break, up. break though? Who said it was a break? Ah, you're quite right. It was more like a, a tap, more like a safety shot break. Oh my god! So the interval. 
outside the interval. Sorry. You are not very smart. I'm not quite sure what you're you're saying, Jason, but uh, we'll get, we'll cut you some slack as it's your first time in the commentary box, first time near any box for that matter. <laughs> That's because I'm a married man, Jamo. Ben Noonan in the house as well, looking for a match. If anyone wants to come down and play Ben, race to three for 50. He's just said, um, anyone, anyone at home wants to play me for race to three for 50, he said, I will beat anybody. And uh, I'm pretty who sure would, you, who would you bet against him? Who would bet against him? He's, he hasn't even talked to you, actually. I've seen you walking towards him, and he walked the other way. So I'm not quite sure where you get that from. Okay, so after Shane's dry break, we've got Alec on reds. Holds nicely for the red in the corner, killing another yellow in the process. Thanks, Andrew. We are very cosy. I just wish Jamo would have put more deodorant on. And uh, maybe brushed his teeth. And speaking of desire to... Ooh, Alex, oh, Alex Lucky is still on the Yeah, I reckon he might be. He's, he's got away with that. If, he, if he's on it, it's still... A, this is a big shot. One which you would struggle to execute, but Alec has a good chance um, of getting this. He needs to pump it in really hard, though, because he um, needs to get the white around to... Somewhere near the blue spot. Yeah, really. I don't think he will hit it very hard. Just cued it. That's a pretty good shot. And he's come enough, just enough. Brenton Collier coming into the chat. Welcome, Brenton. Brenton's father, Alec, in the middle here today. And... Uh, Hoping his dad gets the job done here. It's a bit unfortunate. So uh, Shane will be sharpening his cue shortly. Expecting another visit here. And I could probably just try and roll in and smother this white under the yellow if he can. It's not too bad. Kill the yellow. I think uh, Shane can swerve this mini swerve around. Why well, wouldn't he just yellow. play it off the cushion first? Yeah, there's that option as well. I'm surprised you saw that, but so well done, Jason, for seeing the uh, alternative shot, showing, in the showing innovation where unexpected. Nice shot. And he played your shot as well, just to yeah. give you a plug yeah, there. Yeah, that just shows you how obvious it was. Shows you you know something about the game, not nothing. Hmm. Okay, 6 4, everybody. Early days in this race to 21, but I think uh, safe to say we've got a match on our hands here. It's not likely to be the we've got a match on our hands. The steamroller that people you seriously predicted. we've got a match on our hands. Yes. All right. What are we coming for? Oh, oh. a little jack there from Shane, which he will not be disappointed about it gives him uh, the snooker but still the shot that he left on the red wasn't it's not uh, simple. balls are not beautifully laid out though <laughs> might choose to play this yellow off off the uh, bottom right red into the corner here wonder if he'll play that shot okay no he's no. gone for the white off the yellow, the yellow instead which that was a surprising Pace to play that rush. shot. I thought a a rush would just sort of I think if he just rolls that at a medium pace, he's good enough. And with these rules set, does it go? Say it's very punishing in this situation because Alan can literally just put the white mm. near the, the difficult shot. And uh, the way he's lining this up tells me maybe it doesn't pot, but that that would be. It, it actually looks like it may not pot, so it might not be all. F well, it might not be. Um, the so end surely, of the if frame it doesn't pot sure. in that pocket, it pots in the other one. Oh, it didn't. Thank you for tuning in, Tristian Kravis, Howard Martin, the Iron Four noob. <laughs> 
The commentary is almost better than the game. <laughs> well, thank you, Iron for Noob. Appreciate your your feedback, if even if it's uh, not necessarily the truth, but still appreciate the positive comments. It's not easy commentating with with a, a newcoming co-commentator who who is obtuse. I'm doing my best. I'd like you to um. My shot from Shane there using I'd the like you to tell everyone what obtuse means, Steve. I uh, I would if I knew, Jason. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you looks like you got a fan. Ah, uh -huh, thank you for the comment, James Georgiadis. Um, Hello, beautiful Jamo with a big red love heart. Probably the best. Is, is James blind? He's not. No, he's a smart man. Has good taste, mm. and uh, he uh, he plays nine ball. He's he's sponsored by you know, top companies that that uh, that sponsor all the top nine ball players in the world. Do they sponsor you by any chance? And uh, not yet, but they James is going to have a word with them, and he's going to have a chat and see what they can do. Mm. We've got greatness in the commentary box. We've got Benjamin Noonan. There's been some com complaints. Um, There's been some complaints, apparently. Yeah, yeah, just early on about um, Steve Johnson's theory on the game. Okay. And, um, I'm just happy to walk in just explain that. Um, I was saying earlier that I hope Ben wasn't sharing the contents of my private messages with the crowd earlier <laughs> <laughs> from this morning. <laughs> happy birthday, by the way. Oh, cheers. Oh, he there we go. There we go. Breathe in, everybody. Breathe in. So, yeah, feel free to join me in commentary when you can, just because uh, Jason's first time. He's struggling a little bit. Than, I'm more than happy to leave. Yeah, he's struggling. He, he, not his, not his thing it's not his is thing. That, is that where you're going to go? It, it's, look, if there was any, sh even if it, he was calling the wrong <laughs> shots, it would be better than, look, than he's nothing. He's very basic. Guys, 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 perfectly. So, but Shane's on the red. The number one thing you do here is panic. So Shane's on yellows, yeah? I think it's to come off two, two cushions, pop the yellow and land on the yellow. That looks good. He's had a very good result there. So, the Shane Fell camp, most of Altona tuning in will be very happy with that result. Did he change colours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be very happy if I was that lucky. Okay. I'm not that lucky though, so it's, there's no jammo in that shot. So I like just doing his geometry here. Just, just a heap of, heap of bottom right hand side. Heap of bottom right hand side. Oh, he's playing it. Yeah, he's playing your shot. Ben Noonan, the great one's called it. No, yeah, yes, yeah. no. He's not playing a heap, but he's playing a little bit. No, he didn't play any bottom at all. What are you talking about? I was right behind the shot. I saw there was a bit of left-hand side on the white. Oh, God. Yeah, he's going for the, the frame-winning shot. If this goes in, he probably win the frame. It's, it's straight in the hole. If. Great it shot. was always going in. Great shot. Just needs to mind his work here. Oh, that's lovely. That's the so Shane. Shane. Shane back in the match. 5 all, I believe. Or 6-5. Six 6-5. Five. Six five. Back in the match. Well, happy birthday, boys. Um, thanks, thanks, Benny. Thanks, Benny. Not, not, not my soon. birthday yet. And yeah. I will always be He's a year younger right? than him. Oops. Happy Sticking birthday. around for a while? No, we're leaving. Yeah. Oh. Good to see you. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> so even Benny gets bored with your conversation really quickly. So thank you, Dylan Milloy, for tuning in. Pablo Escobar. Yeah, struggling like he struggled in the C grade in Mildura. You're quite right, Pablo. Um, I'm glad that we've got such um, smart well, smart chat today in the in the I'd chat box. People understand. I don't know who Pablo you know. is, but I'd love to argue with him if I could. 
Okay, That's so, a, so back to the match, nothing about you. 6-5, Alec Evernadis. It's a lovely break. So he's got a ball. It's a lovely break if you... But uh, the balls have come out horrible. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Steve Jamison and want to change halfway through. Yeah, it's getting old now, Jason. I think, no, the, no, it's I think the viewers at home really don't need to hear that for the tenth time. It's, it's um, getting a bit old. And they'll probably be thinking, you know, why, why don't these guys just talk about the game? This is pretty mm. annoying. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's all part of your learning and development, though, so you'll get there. Uh, and you're probably a little bit stiff yeah. to how that landed there. Well, if he's, he wants to be on the red into the left centre... If that's on, this is this is fine. If it's the red not in the left centre, the one at the top of the table. You reckon that's on? I don't. Think uh, so. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know if it's on. Then no. it's easy. If it's not, it's hard. You may even just decide to just pop it out here and leave the white behind the yellow and play a, a bit of a safety shot. But it looks like it goes the way he's playing it. No. That's a misjudgment there from Alec, a surprising choice. And um, good opportunity here for Shane to, to to have a dip and potentially punish Alec here. Needs a bit of luck. We'll see a few, few tied up balls here, but if he smashes this yellow in the middle and or the corner and oh, so gives a bit of movement on the wide, he might, he might open things up here. He doesn't need to smash it. And... Um, I stand corrected by the, the Division 3 I mean Mildura champion. I understand that. Um, oh. There we go, a bit of, bit of movement. Let's see how it lands up. That's not bad. I think he's on it. Looking at his body so language, actually he's got a little bit of a grimace on his face. So I'm not sure he's on it. It wasn't like a... a probably because really he smashed it to it. wasn't a really bad grimace. Just a little bit of a concerned look on the face. So maybe this goes... Do you know what Grimace means, Jason? Yeah, isn't he one of the characters for the cookies at McDonald's? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Thank you, Donna Eaton, for the, the birthday messages. Thank you. So it's not worked out nicely for, for Shane there. He's, uh, he's enjoying his 50th birthday, Donna. He's missed the having a great day. The extraction opportunity, and uh, I'm 48. For anyone who thinks I'm 50, it's not it's not the case. Well, if you're not 50, you've had some hard years, mate. That's all I'm gonna say. But I'm gonna say happy 50th anyway, and I hope you had a good day. Yeah, yeah, it was good up until an hour ago. Thanks to Greg Laurie for tuning in. Sorry, you're, you're great. Greg, your message has been retracted. There must have been a profanity contained in the message. Followed by your name, no doubt. I think Shane's uh, nearly got a jack there on the yellow. I don't think he did that. What do you do here, Jamo? Tell me. Quickly before he does it, and then you try and say that's what you would have done. On the reds? Yep. Let me have a look. He's on the reds, yeah? Okay. I, I think I'll play this red down the bottom and try and pot the yellow in the middle in the same shot, a skill shot. So Alec has tried that. Mm. Obviously, I'm actually he shocked. Had, he had already got down on the queue when I called that shot, so <laughs> I can't claim to have thought of that myself. <coughs> I don't know, he swiped me glass. <laughs> So uh, these reds are very difficult now. He's oh. got a he's got a cross double face cut double on the right one, or if the top one on the left goes in the corner, he can try and mm. play that. Whichever way you go here, these these, yes, are, is these are quite tricky. I think he's got to just play the, the cross double. And that's a good that's attempt. That's a fair effort. Good attempt, but. This is the time to fire for Shane Fell. Does want to get these. Yeah, and this, this is the uh, this even a wrapper for Shane. And this ball he's playing now should be his hardest shot in the in the brick. He's played it really well. 
could not have put that better with his hand. So he just needs to be careful to make sure he's got an angle on this black, oh sorry, on this last yellow to get on the black. So he doesn't want to over hit this one. <gasps> or in fact, definitely doesn't want to miss it. Oh. So that is a big chance missed from Shane. He'll know it. Shane, I goes back to his seat, just taking a, a drink from his. Feel uh, like smacking him over the back of the head for that. Water. I thought he was going to even this, the score. Yeah, you would think that Alec would get these, but it all depends on this shot. Well, he's played it perfectly. He'll just run through and cannon the red towards this bottom left corner and try and play that one in the bottom left corner. He's punched it a little bit. Should be okay though. Hit that one a bit harder than I expected, but so it just needs to be careful here not to cannon the red off the off the cushion. Just wants to swing past it if he can. Perfect. This is where I get confused and stuff's up now. So welcome Ryan King. Uh, thank you for your comments. Your good luck in the Challenger Series this year. I think um, Ryan's from New Zealand, so he's coming over from New Zealand. So thanks very much for the support of the event. Good luck, Ryan. Uh, I think that uh, Jamo should be joining you in that Challenger Series. I don't think he uh, warranted a wild card at all. Yeah, thank you, Jason, for those words of support. With friends like you, who needs enemies, huh? Thank you, Greg Laurie, for the, the birthday wishes. Thank you, Zach, for for um, mentioning that you, your team beat Ben's team on Thursday night. Congratulations. I'd expect nothing else, Zachy. Zach, uh, an expert... Um, guy on the on time pieces on what on time pieces yeah he's a time piece expert Zach Poninger What's he, what are you talking about watches yeah oh god why wouldn't you just say watches because not every time piece is a watch he he has other yeah Time pieces that he, he looks probably after. going to be another time piece that I'll never get back again. Brenton Collier, good out dipper. So Alec just keeping the foot on Shane's head here, seven five up. Yeah. Shane again going with a top spin break. I'm not sure it's getting the same explosion that he was getting on the stun break, so I might have to go back to the stun break next time. And I like with a, a reasonable chance on the yellows, I think, here. Won't be going red. Look, I um I think it's all over Mary, pull your pants up here. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of work to be done here. A lot depends on how easy that yellow near the middle pocket is. If it's, if it's really tight, you won't be able to get much movement on it. What are you talking about? The yellow near the, the right center, it, those those can be a little oh bit yeah, tricky. just tap that in now. Although yeah. I've never played on these tables. but yeah, They're quite awkward from, from acute angles like that. It should be okay. You put, any pace just on, it in. you put any pace on them, they jump out. So just... Yeah, pops it in, just stuns it in with a bit of pace, just to prove Jamo wrong. Yeah, these is, these do link up pretty well. So it'll be bottom left corner, left middle, top left corner, right left right corner. Bottom left corner right. will be his last. No shot one's going to remember blank. what you said.
Uh, thank you, Christian Travis, for the, the commentary post. Travis Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love uh, Trev's comment on Shane. What's that? Has Shane opted for two <laughs> different haircuts? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, cracker. Travis Martin has been doing some very interesting daily posts on Facebook to uh, demystify the world or put the world to rights. And uh, Zach Bonager is, uh, is not a timepiece expert. He is a horologist. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. Yes. Uh, done well here. Yes. These were relatively straightforward, but you still got to get him. Hopefully, he doesn't swap colours. So, Alec yeah. posting a, a very tidy timepiece there as well while he plays that shot. Just noticed. Do you know which watch that is, Zach, from your horology expertise? Can you work out which watch that is and put your comments in the chat which watch you think Alec is playing with? Unless, of course, you know which watch it is and you, for example, bought it for him. Well, give us something to fill in the, the interval uh, instead of having to listen to more of your useless commentary, Jason. <laughs> oh, God. It's rare I read something from Travis and not laugh. He's a very funny man. He is indeed. Alec, uh, he's looking very comfortable. Yeah, he's just sort of vegged out again, extended his lead again to 8 5. Shane, Shane will be, he's got a bit of a concerned look on his face, Shane. One, one of which. Um, sort of says, I need to get back into this match now. I don't want him to go four, five, or six frames up. That's, uh, well, he's, it's obviously it's out of his control because Alex got the I break. I reckon you're a mind reader. So there's a nice stun break, but again, no ball. So, opportunity for Shane, not an easy one. Not sure if he's if he can get to one of these reds. Reds are probably the the better ball if you can get one. Might chop the one in the middle. It's a bit choppy. Why? Because it might be the only one. If you go the yellow off of the red into the middle, then all the yellows are just as good, right? Or am I wrong? No, you're you're wrong. But that's okay. We'll, I'll I'll tell that's you afterwards. We don't have time to go into a, a lengthy training session. <laughs> Why red's better? Well, it's luckily because I get my advice from good players. Thank you, Rob Wood, for the birthday <coughs> wish. Well done, Rob. I'll unfriend you from Facebook later on for that. I'm not 50. <laughs> Shane taking his difficult ball here. It's a big shot. And it's not close, unfortunately. Mm. And the Reds are... It's uh, probably not going to get back to the table. Mm. Especially leaving the light there for that... Uh, what of his toughest red. Yeah, if this... This red must go. That's that's if, of course, the red goes under that yellow, which I'm guessing it does. Yeah, I think it does. Um, so, still, because there's 
Shanghai just needs to get because there's six w, yellows so. left. There's, there's still a bit of um, traffic for Alec to navigate around, so it's not an absolute gimme. Still a little bit of uh, maneuvering with the white, so Shane will be hoping and praying that. Uh, I don't think that's what he was going for this, there. Now, if this red nearest the white goes in the middle, that's it's going to be probably all over Red Rover. But if it doesn't go, then that's. Uh, I'm not sure which ball Alex playing here. I can't really tell. Oh, yeah. So that now there's a chance. Yeah. So that's a big chance. Yeah, At well least from here it is anyway. Yeah. Like on the table, it might look a bit different for that yellow up the top. Yeah, but really important for Shane to punish Alec here, and I, I actually like the yellow on the top right of the table as his last ball before the black. Let's see if he goes for that. I would be taking the one top left into the top left corner first. Die. But, um, but Shane's deciding to go for the plant here, which you Maybe. say is a slightly harder shot, but we'll see. Played it well, I think. Is he on that yellow line? I'm not sure with that camera angle. I'm looking at Charlie. I think he is on it. The facial expression doesn't have a too much of a grimace. He's looked at it a few times though, so it must be, be close. Must be quite tight. Yeah. that because the, he's the, cut off he's the connecting ball for the black has his last ball as I predicted earlier is, is now blocked he's got to he's going to now play that yellow somewhere else Fancy you getting a prediction wrong I didn't get a prediction wrong just the, the way the balls have gone mm. have changed the, the path not quite sure what the plan there was I can only imagine he's trying to chop this bottom yellow in to the right. Maybe he, maybe he moved. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, safe. That's, that's a loose safety, though. Shane will be very upset with that one. That's um, that's just a loose safety. I think Alec is on that red to the top oh. right corner, yeah? In which case, if he is, it's all, this frame's probably over. He doesn't seem to be playing it, or is he? Yeah, he is playing it. Just uh, has to be a bit careful here, not to touch the yellow with his cue. Oh, that's, that's cued beautifully. That is, that's uh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, he's he's a he's a good cueist. Unlike you, Jamo. Thank you, Rob, for, for your comment. It diverted me from Jason's commentary for a second. Appreciate it. I don't think you ever get these comments previously. Just saying. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. My apologies. No. Thank you, Siki. I think that's um, Andrew Newen or, or someone. What's uh, Jackson Ewan, sorry. Jackson. How you doing, my man? Is that Jacko? Yeah. You know Jacko? Oh, my God. Alex just chopped that up when I was not expecting that at all. And he's yeah, left I'm not it. sure what's happened there. We, we thought that was uh, game over. That was unusual. But look what he's left him on. I think Shane can get through to the one at the top right. Yeah. I, I actually prefer the one to the top right than the one he's looking at. Yeah, I'm not I think that's what he's playing. This is a harder pot. I'm not sure about the choice here. If it, it's, a, it's, a, it's great if it goes in. Ah, uh, yes. That's wonderful. Well played. That was a skill shot. You're, you're starting to get it. Well done. 
Yeah, Shane went for the harder one there. It's paid off. Just needs to keep hold of this one. Oh. Wing C looks okay. He's really 50. And I know everyone's surprised. He looks much older than that. No. He's had a few hard years. No, Wing. Don't listen. If you don't believe a word that you hear coming from Jason Foster's lips. Because uh, they've been to some very, very murky places. Nicely, nicely done, Shane. Shane's uh, giving yes, a good account. He of needed to. Uh, yeah, and, and the thing about Shane is I think he could do better. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely not, not, um, not the doing not well. Not taking anything away from Ace, of course. You know. Yeah, I think if Shane started better, it, it could have been. Uh, that would have nothing to do with you predicting score. that if he gets a good start and all that sort of thing, just trying to make yourself sound right. But it's a very good match, so nonetheless. Yeah, good match so far. Uh, no, thank you, Dan. We're, we're okay on the on the beverage front. Yeah, thanks, mate. But thank you for telling him that I was okay before I even got to answer. No. Oh. Excuse the awkward silence in the commentary box, everybody. Oh no, it was it was actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought okay so Shane uh, uh, Shane really needs to get his brake working he's missed the last two brakes doing a top spin brake he really wants to Let's hit see the, what he does hit here. the center of the white here and smash it oh, I always find that just below sin is better and I'm a much better brake than you are Jamison oh. see this is what happens when you play center for brake No, for me that's just above center. For me, enough in the middle. These cloths are really reactive. If, if you hit the middle of the white, it's, it's missing that middle bag. Generally. So is this this is Alec taking is this yellows? cloth more like nine ball or is it? It's a little bit like nine ball. Yeah, it's there's not much. Sort of halfway between. There's no nap on it. It's it's pretty slippery. Hmm. Obviously the table's smaller at six foot, so less room to manoeuvre the white. You can okay, so Alec. So do you still think that if you played nine ball that you'd be the best in Australia? That other nine ballers have got nothing on you? No, no. I'd Probably James Georgiatis would be better than me if I played nine ball. But that's not what you said the other day. Isn't it? No. What did I say the other you day? You said that no one in nine ball can hit a ball, really, compared to what you would do if you played nine ball. Well, I've never played nine balls, so... That's like, like why I said if. Look, don't put words in my mouth and, and words in the, in the, you know, the population's ears. Simply no, no, I'm just asking you if that's how you still feel. None like of it is true. None of it is true. Now that George no one is saying you. that he'd probably help you trying to get a sponsor. No one believes you. you know, even though you've been begging for sponsors, even offering free sponsorship Jason, on your shirt. Jason, Shane's family are tuning in to watch his match. They, you know, players are tuning in from around the world to listen to insightful commentary, not mm. just So why did they give and, us the job? And, and you know, bad commentary. It really should be poor commentary. I thought you were English. It's a nice shot from Shane. He's given himself a nice angle here just to just to open up his dead dead red. And in doing so he'll stay on his red in the in the right centre pocket. Just wants to avoid the in off here. He could cannon boost the yellows and actually track towards that middle pocket. So hence the, the application of bottom spin on the white. Oh. But with that application makes the pot just a touch harder. And that's why he's missed it. So a great chance for Alec here. Th these are his hardest balls, I suppose, in the bottom left corner. If he opens them up here and, and they're all on, should be fine. It's not perfect. He's he's not sort of got any clearance there with the white balls. Probably so a little bit stiff. For anyone at home who's wondering who Jason Foster is in the commentary box, he is uh, nobody. I'm 
probably the greatest player of all time that's never done anything. Like, that includes winning a money comp in any state or any town ever. So I'd like you to try and keep what you say about me at least accurate. Sorry, did you say something? I'm actually watching the match. Nice right. shot from Alec there. That was a tight angle into the middle pocket. Could you just watch the match then? And uh, Thank you from Michael Morfitt for tuning in. Yeah, uh, hi Michael, it's Steve Jamison and Jason Foster in the commentary. Uh, Lee, it's not my uh, birthday, mate. Uh, he's, yeah, th thank you, Lee. You, you obviously got that wrong. You thought it was Jason's birthday. And uh, cheers, cheers, Michael. I'm surprised you're not doing a little bit more for your 50th. Like, it's a pretty big birthday to sort of just come to pockets and do commentary. I came to commentate on a, uh, an excellent pool match, not, not listen to your derogatory statements. Mm. Apologies to the Adelaide people watching who obviously want, want to watch and enjoy a match with their, their goat playing. I'll try and steer this ship in the right way. <laughs> Anyone seen you drive? They'd understand that. That's a nice hit from Alec there. Lovely position to get on the black there, with the help of the red on the on the black spot. So this this black to take a nine six lead just to keep that cushion, which he's had throughout this match so far. Very good shot. There it goes. So chances missed once again. I am. Shane, Shane will be thinking in his chair. Okay, I'm nine six down. I could be nine six up. Or maybe he's not. No, but he'll also be. He'll also be sat there thinking, you know, life's good. You know, he could you know, be I doing could better, I and that's the I thing. It could be know? Jason Foster. It could be. Could be worse. Yeah. I'm not sure he could get that low, mate. Yeah, Ryan, Dan Lynch is still doing cue ball TV. He's to our right. Uh, if we bring the green screen up, Dan, can you come in and, and we'll introduce you to, to Ryan King so he can recognize you from when he met you in the 2015 under 21 Oceana snooker. Obviously, you weren't playing in that because you you wouldn't have been under 21 in 2015. Oh, well, he's a lot younger than you. Nice break from Alec. Or at least looks it. Nice break from Alec. He's got a ball. How is that a nice break when he's got a touching ball? It's not. What's the rule on the it's touching it's ball? Not, it's not touching ball. I can see from here because I've got 20-20 vision. He's on the yellow up to the top right, so these yellows look pretty tasty to me. Just answer the question. I didn't listen to you, so how can I answer a question I don't What's listen to? What's the go to? with the new rules with touching ball? The same as, any, same as any format of the game. You burk. That's a bit of a... Yeah, He's yeah, under yeah. hit that a bit. I don't think we can put that down to luck, folks. That's just an under hit. Yeah, it was which, a shit uh, shot. Which Shane will be delighted with because uh, he really does want to try and pull back in this match. Yeah, if you, if you could see Shane from here, he looks super delighted. He hasn't changed his facial expressions at all. Yeah. Although I can see there's... Um, Slight indentation in his trousers from that, that outcome. Could you explain what you mean by that? Uh, no, sir. I'm just focusing on the match. Um, You're focusing on someone's trousers as unsurprisingly as that is. I think, I don't think Shane can pot this red clean in the left centre. I think he needs to bend it around a little bit. And what about the lower one? And as a bender, you would be very <laughs> qualified to to understand if this is possible. Can you can you give us your expert opinion on that? Uh, no. I've got no idea what you're talking about. He's not opted oh, yeah, I can't for believe he's not opted for, safety he's not opted for any of them. He's decided to play and it's a good this is called a containing safety, Jason, if you're not aware of that term. It's a good safety shot, Steve, and I can't believe that you didn't predict it. San Jose is such a good reader of the game. Oh, 
A compliment at last. Thank you not. so much. You just didn't wait for the knot. Ah, oh, sorry. That's a good shot. Good I, shot like a, I like that. That's nice. So yeah, Kira Slutches from Drew. Um, Desire to Sketch is tuning in. She sponsors a lot of the pool players and events around the country. Uh, so if you want a, a portrait or a, um, a sketch done of, of you know, you know your your neighbors Ooh. your neighbors um, sort of private moments, whatever you want, she'll she'll happily oblige. And um, a good one, Dan. Now people will know we will be on a green stream. It's not a stream; it's a screen. Uh, just to correct you there, Jason. You need correcting quite a bit today, but that's okay. Happy to to help out the pool community by training new commentary commenta commentators. And uh, yeah, so Kira Desire to Sketch can do family portraits. Uh, pets, pictures of pets, not not the type that Jason would, would, would go for, but like obviously normal pictures. And um, yeah, I've got a, a sketch at home, a, a pencil sketch of me and my, my partner, which, uh, which I keep What's on. What's your cat's name? Just keep on my bedroom wall. Hmm? <laughs> Is it your partner or your cat? I'm not quite. It's it, she did both actually. I think she did one of my cat. My cat's called Kiwi. Uh, Alec is uh, looking good here on the yellows. Yeah, he's very likely to to get these. Just has to be a little bit careful. He's going to take the one in the right center first, I think. I can't see him pulling this one first unless he does like it. Okay, he feels he can hold this. Okay, he's going long. This surprises me greatly. Why? Because the other way was, was frankly easier. So this this one missable. I don't think he will miss it. But the other way I thought was was a little bit less um, risky, but not much in it, I suppose. He's played it well. Does that go? It's it goes in the top oh. left, but you know, with that sort of change oh no, of yeah, yeah. change of positioning strategy he's left himself a tough black. I think he'll still get this yeah, though. He'll still get it. He'll still get this and he's no Steve Jamison, he'll get it. You, know, you you would probably pot this and put the put the white in somewhere, Jason. But I, I think wouldn't Alec get will just, close to Alec this, just drop drop that in nicely. Well done. Good good black. Good black. Gave Shane some hope there and then took it away. And Lee Rennan, thank you for the, the messages. Really appreciate your, your compliments. It's very offensive, Lee. So Shane wearing a Scotland top. Uh, no way. Really? Off, off obviously. Oh, hang on. I'm going to try to get Jamo's uh, commentary here. Shane's about to break. I bet you he hits the balls hard. <laughs> Thank you, Kira, for your comments. Uh, any publicity is good publicity. Don't forget it, okay? So n a much better stun topspin break there from Shane with a bit of inverted pike on the break. Oh, God. Very, very sophisticated break it's there. Ever, ever a time where you realise that Jamo has got no idea about the game. It's today. Which makes me feel a hell of a lot better. Are you taking yellows or reds here, Jason? Ooh, I like in the yellows. I wasn't serious with the question. I was just doing it for a laugh. No, no, but I like the yellows. Yeah, me too. Me uh, too. Only because that you would probably still chop them up, which means it would leave the reds open and I'd win. I like the yellows, but I would have wanted maybe bottom right on that shot and come around the table and get into that cluster, cluster of on yellow the left hand side. 
But Shane, Shane obviously has a, a better a idea a than a you. Cunning plan and better idea than me. So there's still a lot of work to be done here. I'm not entirely sure how he's going to maneuver the white here. In fact, he was eyeballing a safety there. Maybe he's just going to pull up, which I, I think is probably the right shot because there's no. there's a big risk of um, chopping these up and leaving Alec uh, tap it. That's a good shot. I like that. Just doesn't give Alec much. Smart pool. Well, another containing safety from Alec. Neither player wanting to take these on. Bit of cat and mouse, as they say. Who says that? Uh, me, just now. Right. There is a pass for Shane through to this yellow to the bottom right. So if he wants to have a dip, he can. I just, just think that he needs to sort of get into these balls on the right. I'd, I'd almost just drop this one in if he can and just play a twenty-one. Play an extraction Jack. shot on the Race ball over to the pocket. Twenty-one, mate. Thanks for tuning in, Jack. Well done on your Monday night comp and pockets win. Which I think may have been the first time you've played in it. So well done getting the chocolates over Josh Gorski on Monday night. Just gone. from Alec, he's um, hit the yellow first, which uh, changes the complexion of this frame Where entirely. are you putting the white? Um, I think he's he's got the right idea here, just chop this in and open up his other ball. Oh, the other one goes, so that's, yeah. that's a bonus. I thought it was I thought it was tucked under that. Head, so This is a uh, great chance. He'll be just dropping this in. He you may want to just make sure he doesn't uh, push the yellow to the rail because he wants to. Nice shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. He wants to land uh, close ish to the, the yellow on the right and then take the black in the middle. And that's pretty good. Good shot. So this keeps Shane in touch if he can get these two. 10 to 7. It does give you a different perspective looking at it from a computer screen though. I think it's probably time that Shane needs to start growing one side of his hair. Just in time for where he needs, oh, a, that's a, good shot. Where he needs a comb seven. over. I think a comb over would probably suit Shane. Yeah, well he's been doing the, you know, the hair implant pill oh. pills. Yeah. Yeah, he's been, he told me he's been taking those ones. They're, they're a new product on the market from, I believe, a, a company called Pfizer. And they, they replace <laughs> your your hair cells so that's why one side of his hair is longer than the other because he's been sort of trialing it on one side of his head first rather than doing the whole thing just in case it doesn't work and, and his whole head's you know not working out well and um, sponsored today Shane by the Scottish Pool Association so shout out to Archie McPherson the, the leader of the Scottish Pool Association who uh, donated the shirt to to Shane along with $5,000 to wear it against that like today so thank you mate and back to the match 10-7 Alec with the break that cushion just keeping the sweat off Alec's brow Ooh. oh it's a great result off the break he nearly went in off and a uh, bit uh, of a chance tough to get on the reds from there it's a chance on the yellow not easy, but a um, bit of chance nevertheless. I don't know if he's got access to a red. The reds are probably better. Can you see a red, Jason? 
I can see what can three, six. Can I can see can seven of them. Can he pot one? Jason. Not from what I can see. <coughs> so he's going for the yellows. This is a tricky opener. Might be going corner off the red. He's just overhit that. Forced now into well, playing. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, he's forced into playing the plant. He wanted to be just above that top right yellow so he could cut that one down the rail. So now he's playing the plant or geranium. Oh my god. So race to 21, Jack. You're a little bit late on that, mate. Oh. My apologies, Jason, for There's making you do a little bit more work than, than you need to do today. That's a nice shot. Lovely shot. Yep, so... I think this is... Uh, very. These connect very nicely. If the black goes to the right corner, I like is absolutely fine here. His last ball will more than likely be the one to the top left corner, but when he chose to play it now, which he is. A few different ways you can do this. I think uh, if you play the top left corner now. The only, the only problem with not playing this one last is that he's got a play positional shot now on the black, whereas if he just dropped that one in that he's playing now into well, the middle, he would be on the black. Either way, it's got to be a positional shot. He's a bit straight now on this yellow, so he'll just pull the white bank to where it yeah. is now. But again, you know, he's got to play a shot, whereas the other one, the other way, he just a little has to stun, roll it in. A little, little bit of a suck back. That's it. Oh, he's going topspin. Here we go. The blacks obviously oh much across the table. The black. Oh wow. That yeah. See, because he had to force, he had to force it, right? Well no, you're wrong. It was a shit shot. That's all. No, no, you're putting words in my mouth. I never said that. That's just poor commentary. Mm. Really? Yeah, the, the balls the balls do pop out of these middle pockets uh, quite easily. You've got to be very careful. Tables are beautiful to play on, but they can be quite punishing. And speaking of punishment, Shane really wants to punish Alec here if he lets him off the hook for that with these yeah, tap he needs to. he will he will be disappointed he really wants to get these well, I believe there has been a master break I think Shane got a master break earlier uh, just just Dan was just asking us if there's been a master break yeah, I don't know I think yeah So yeah, Alec was just trying to... Oh, Shane's missed. Oh my goodness. That is... That is... That's a really good that is that's a great. That's a great shot from Alec that he should never be back at the table here. I'm sure everybody will agree with me. Oh, I don't know. I didn't but see what a wonderful, Shane. But a wonderful shot nevertheless. And uh, Tricky black, but should, should probably get it. Does. You would have missed that black, Jason? No, I probably wouldn't have. You'd have raised your head off the queue like you do and <laughs> chopped it. Pretty sure. Thank you for tuning in, Ian Hinton. Uh, looking forward to your, your Geelong Open campaign. Not quite sure what makes you sick, Ian, but I'm tipping it's Jamo. Yeah, looking forward to the Geelong Open down at Slate Room in, in Geelong. I think we've got uh, a break, Stephen, not the one on the table. Well, uh, any break from you is, is a pleasure to me. So I think we're just going to take an intermission, folks. I think the players are taking the time for a comfort break or a number two. So uh, thank you so much. And oh, I can't uh, get away to get away. Don't go change it.
15 minutes, Dan O. How many? Oh, that's not too bad for a Saturday afternoon. <laughs>
Alright, I'm going to start off by commenta commentating like Jamo, saying chain's about to break. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. I'm a bit loud, Dan. Because well, you just turned it up. You can, you, can you adjust it so I'm not so no. loud? Excuse us folks at home, we're just a bit of technical difficulties here. It's Jason Foster's fault. I swapped them over. That's what I had to deal with earlier. Test. No, not even working now. I can't even hear no, it now. not working at all. Testing. Hello. No. Testing one, two. No. Can yep. I read? Hello. Hello. Testing one, two, three, four. We're back. Good afternoon, everybody. If you've just joined us, welcome to the Money Match of the Century at Pockets. Alec Renatus versus Shane Fell. I'm Steve Jamison. I'm joined by Jason Foster. If you're wondering who that is, he's nobody. That's all you need to know. Alec on yellows here. Opting to take the, the yellow down the rail. Hoping to capitalize on the big pocket at the bottom of the table. These these should be um, should be an easy finish for Alec here, in which case he would then extend his lead to uh, I think it's 12-7, if I'm not mistaken. I can't see the score on the screen at the moment, but uh, 7.13. If, if he wins this frame, 7.30? 7.14. 7.14 if Alec wins this frame, great. Mm. <coughs> People asking on the stream, uh, Dan, if this, what the score is, so if we can implement a scoreboard on the screen, that'd be great. There it is for everybody at home. And for me, who didn't know. A bit over hit there from Alec, but he's having a nice kiss on the red. Lovely shot. Not quite sure where you're getting overhit from. Yeah, Alec wouldn't have uh, wanted to bring the red into play. He would have wanted to just land on that yellow in the corner. We're being joined in the commentary box by Ben Hoot. If anyone wonders who that is, he is nobody. Just just to clarify that. Everybody's nobody, Jenna. Especially <laughs> great <laughs> shot. Okay. Only people that think very highly of themselves think they're somebody. Better be generous. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed for the compliment. I, th I think you're somebody. Thank you for the compliment, Ben. We appreciate it. Oh, I definitely don't. <laughs> do, you, do you have any listeners either way? Yes, we do. We've got uh, 567 viewers. How many? 12. F 567. 567? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to say something to our viewers? Ben Hood from Altona. I thought about it, and all I'd say is, happy birthday, Gemma. Everyone should should be appreciative to have Australia's second nicest school player in the world. Ah. <laughs> Used to be Australia's nicest school player, has since lost that title. Oh wow, who's taken over the, the nicest pool uh, player title? I would title? like to see some commentary on that. Without me telling you, I'll come back and tell you in say 15 okay. minutes. Thank you, keep everyone guessing. Um, who is the nicest pool player in Australia? I reckon for six or seven years running, had Australia's nicest pool player under the belt. Oh. Um, dropped that title probably two or three years ago. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, interesting stuff on the sidelines there. I'm just a little bit disappointed that both both uh, my mates over here. Apologies well. to anyone who has left the, the, the stream because of that. We, we will try and resurrect the stream. One quick one. Can, has Foster actually said anything since he's been on the commentary? I don't need to. He doesn't fucking take it. I mean, gee whiz. Oops. What he has said has been a waste of of, of audibility, if that's a word. I like it. Look at the vocabulary stretch there. 
Thank you for tuning in, Brent Hampton, um, uh, Michael Cassiola. I think everyone's excited and looking forward to the the upcoming Pockets Pro Series, Pockets Challenger Series. There's a lot of uh, buzz around these events, and um, great to see um, this money match sort of sprucing up the the excitement for these events which are coming up in the next week or two. Uh, Shane Fell looking to close the gap on Alec who has extended his lead. Hey Gemma, how did you go in your last money match? Did you win or lose? My last money match? Uh, I'm just trying to remember when that was to be honest with you. I can't remember. Let me put my thinking cap on while we continue with the frame. Nice shot from Shane. He doesn't look to be on the one in the middle. So he's going to have to go long here. Have you actually won one? Uh, yes, I have. Unlike yourself, I have won a money match in the past, Jason. Thank you. Okay, so nice shot from Shane there. He's, uh, I think he's going to be okay top left. Don't know if he's got anything else on the left bottom side of the table but uh, definitely top left he looks like he's okay uh, Michael Scary nominating himself as the nicest pool player in Australia as per Ben Hood's comments earlier few could few could argue with that and um, thanks for tuning in Luke, Luke Jowlett as Rusty would call him from Mildura one of the one of the people who actually from the jury who can play, unlike Jason Foster. Thanks for tuning in, Luke. And I um, don't know if you can hear the background music. Possible. The, the, the room is turning into a bit of a nightclub here, so. I can say for one, I wish it was the only thing I could hear. <laughs> so. Excuse that pathetic contribution to the commentary from Jason Foster. G'day, Lukey. Back, back to the match. And uh, Shane's missed the yellow. Uh, so Alec with a good chance now on reds. <laughs> not an easy uh, not an easy finish. I love Sin Singy, whatever that is. That's a very good, oh, a very good question. Sai Singy. That, that's got to be Simon Singleton, I think. That was a, a match from many years ago, which I will never forget. Uh, Thank you for reminding me. We we don't need to go into that on the stream, Simon. <laughs> but a good lesson in uh, never underestimating your opponents. So uh, is, that it, was. is it true that you said um, that Michael Cassiola could never beat you in a money match? Uh, no, it's not true. But you thank sure? you for stirring the pot. You well, I'm just trying to point out how nice of a pool player you are. And that okay, Alex got that in. Ben Hood's got no clue. Rail first, it slipped in off the cushion. <laughs> thanks, Brent. Yeah, thanks for the comments, guys. Th um, yeah, Simon Singleton in the in the chat there. He's coming over for the Pro Series. And uh, great to see the Kiwi guys investing least, uh, extra money in terms of flight and accommodation. And uh, yeah, good to see you guys supporting the event and coming over. And um, yeah, Simon, I think, is the strongest. With greatest respect to all the other Kiwi players. Strongest of the Kiwi players that I've seen. And uh, seemingly, to me, plays this this format of the game with a, I think a nine ball cue. So that that was that was quite an interesting observation by me the last time I saw them play against uh, Australia. You know what? There's one thing I'm really surprised at, Jamo. What's that, Jason? I didn't know you could, like, circular breathe. What does that even mean? I'll let you work it out, mate. But it's rare I see you take a breath. Super shot from Alec there. Yeah, Just diverting us from the, the very average commentary from Jason. Thank you for the shot, Alec. And uh, this will be a painful... Oh, here's an equal to oh, He's overhit that. He's overhit that. He should still be okay. He can chop this in the middle. 
and it's a natural angle. He just needs to drop it in dead weight with plain ball or a touch of left hand topspin on the white. And he should be fine. It sort of pumped that harder than I expected, and this is. You know, I thought he would play that a bit softer. A bit more of a stroke than a punch. It leaves him a bit of a, a work to do here. Should still be okay, but is he putting this black, Jason? No, mate. But the eagle fox just pushes the black into an awkward spot there. Just lost the white a little just bit. A, not the a good spot, man. just a straight double. But uh, Alec is someone you would back very heavily, unlike yourself, Jason, to get a double. Excellent double. Uh, Shano's got a bit of work to do. Although I could back him to get a few more frames, unlike if someone sitting beside me, I probably would have fell into a heap by now. And we're joined by Benjamin Bain in the in the commentary box here. Uh, yeah, if, if anyone apologies if if you told your wife you were going shopping, Ben, and you came down to the pool hall. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, pockets in. Uh, so I've just been gifted. Uh, By the way, if you're wondering who a, Benjamin Bain is, it's Jamo's doppelganger. A, is this a cue? Oh, so I've just been, I've just been gifted a, a Century Q, Q smoother. Thank you so much. Do you want me to pay you for this? Oh, thank you so much. It's a birthday gift. Even better. Thank you. Benjamin Bain for the, the birthday gift. Is we there one for, for Foster as well or not? Is there one for him? It's his birthday as well. Is it just for me or? It is, but don't worry. I'll no, no, I'll have this one. <laughs> Sorry, excuse, excuse everyone. Thank you excuse for that. The Thanks, everybody. Benny. I appreciate that. Okay, so Shane, I think, has broken off this frame unless it was a dry break from Alec. Yeah. I just lost a bit of track there from the, the multiple gifts being... <laughs> Bestowed upon me in the commentary box, and uh, just had to snatch the gift away from Jason, who was about to steal it. Okay, so Shane on reds here, good chance. Sort of left himself a bit more angle than he would have liked there. I didn't like that positional shot too much. Uh, so he's given himself bit more work than he needed to on this uh, red down the bulk rail. So much so that he's changing his path and, he was uh, done off it. and going north or south depending on what perspective you've got. That is the I'm really struggling not to say really horrible things about you. Okay, so Shane with this red to the bottom bottom right he's yeah, played lovely, it pretty well lovely it's a shot. nice angle on the red it's a it's a tricky pot but one which I believe um, I just had a message from Temujin Dixon and his partner Robin sorry I forgot your surname Robin I think it's Sharp or something um, can't remember but that's okay uh, it was just a a, it was just a one night thing so oh. Unfortunately for Shane, he's, he's missed the red. It's a fair point, Rob Bowen. It's a very good observation that he makes. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Rob. I think um, the, the Scotland shirts actually kept Shane in this match. So it's a good strategy. Just adds a little extra piece of factor. Oh, look, mine's still in the package. So... Uh, I can't believe that someone has just gifted Jason Foster a gift just because I wound them up that he didn't have a present and I did. Um, it's very surprising and un unjustified, undeserved present from Benjamin Bain to Jason Foster there. I can't believe how much you two look alike. Not only that, you act the same as well. So you're not only accepting a gift from Ben, but you're mocking him as well. That's that's actually just like you. I thought you were one of the nice guys in pool, but you're actually not. Well, you're that you're actually a very vindictive, just horrible you human how being. how stupid you are. So Shane with a, a two-rail or three-rail attempt at the red. It's not gone in. 
Alec will eat these yellows up now. And the Empire room in Adelaide will be erupting with this on their big screen. Hi everybody at Empire. Hi Ash, hi Nathan, hi James, hi Michael. So since you've offered I'm free sponsorship sure those, those on your shirt. I'm pretty sure people will be watching this on the stream at Empire. Sorry, what did you say so something relevant? Since you've offered free son uh, sponsorship on your shirt, have you actually had any takers now that they don't have to pay for it? I actually had um, you know, multiple takers, thank you for asking. And uh, we're now completely sold out. For free? Uh, yes. However, I'm pleased to say most of my sponsors offered to pay me and I declined their offer. And directed them to other players who needed the money and the sponsorship more than me. Are you sure you didn't take them and away from other players? So adding value, unlike anything you've done in your lifetime. Back to the match, Alec with a good chance on yellow. Steve Jamison also has a, a, his own business. So if anybody out there is going to enter into this uh, Pockets event, hit him up for some sponsorship. He would love to sponsor someone out there. Wouldn't you, Steve? Being the nicest guy in the pool. If it gives me the nicest gun pool tag, I'll, I'll do it. Yes. So hit me on a direct message if you want sponsorship in the Pro Series and I'll sort it out. Good. Okay, so I like straightforward on the yellows here. black and that takes the score to 16-7 I believe race to 21 so one feels this match is slipping away from Shane right now he, um, he's put up a gallant effort to be in amongst it so far uh, it'd be great I think for, for everyone who came to watch and to see him um, Okay, pull closer into Alec. You'll get a few back. <laughs> okay, so Alec Evernada is breaking off with the nine ball cue. Likes this um, middle of the ball break. Bring the white back. I think he intends to bring it back up down the centre. Seems to be a very popular break off choice in the international game these days. Just got hold of that too much. Put the white in the corner and um, chance for Shane. Has to put the white anywhere behind the, the ball line. Um, first glance, it looks like yellows might be the, the better balls to go for here. But there's a good case for reds as well, but probably go yellow. It's only one red. What's that? It's only one red. I'm surprised by this choice. I thought yellows were the balls all day long there. He's going reds. So that's, that's a massive surprise to me. The one up the top left looks pretty tricky. He's going to have to go real first. Probably take it now if he, if he fancies the, the sort of cannon real first into the yellow, into the pocket. I'm just not sure about the, the... All the yellows went. So for me, this is this is not the right colour set to go for. But, um, but Shane clearly has a plan and wants to execute it. So let's see what he, set, see what he does.
maybe you can come off of this super fine. Knock that, get, knock that red into a puttable position. Yeah, it's sort of all back, all makes in one basket though. Needs to trust the luck. Shot. Okay, so I think he's got a shot on it. As so he goes, a long shot. I'm not sure how nice it is. Uh, I don't think he'll go long here. I think he'll chip this in, unless it's too fine. Center one here first, I think, Mr. Jamison. Yeah. Um, so um, he's found a way through with these reds. Right he's the he's got himself a tough black to finish the game if he gets this one. Um, so yeah, he had um, got flat on the rail. He just taps it in. I mean, if he misses, it he's in trouble anyway. Oh, if he misses, it's pretty much game over. Uh, but uh, if he gets it, that's a very good out against really the, the correct way to go. Okay, it's not there. Doesn't make the yellows easy though, in fairness. Yeah, I think Alex just got the, the tricky one at the bottom of the, the table. But if that does go yeah, under the black, it's, it's regulation out for Alex. This is no problem. It's all about whether this yellow at the bottom of the table goes. Uh, maybe he hasn't even, looked, on he hasn't even looked at it, so it must either go or not go categorically. Then it goes. Thank you for the um, the private messages from Jamie Stevens saying it's the best commentary he's heard in a long time and better than his, his own commentary. So very big, big plot. It's from Jamie Stevens coming through. Oh, I could do without hearing it. Okay, so, uh, so Alex snookering Shane here. Shane considering the the two rail option which gives them potential mobility for the black to the left corner I think the one rail shot is, is the easier one to hit but he wants to pot this black and so he's going for the harder one and it's nowhere near it So Alec will position his white next to what he deems to be his hardest ball, you would think. And if this will tell us, Jason, if the yellow goes under the black or not, because if it doesn't, he would almost certainly yeah. be putting the white under the black Behind right now. It. Mm, so a nice rail shot from Alec. I don't think Still that. I don't sure think the yellow goes under the black. Actually, I think he's. Oh really? I thought you said that last shot would tell. Yeah, I thought it would, but uh, it doesn't look like it to me on the overhead. So I wonder what Alex is going to do here. He's not going for another safety. I think Shane's going to play the same shot again here. Maybe he learned something from the first attempt. We can get closer this time. No, he's going across the other side of the table this time. A bit easier escape. Played it well. Definitely doesn't go now. It's not a bad result, actually. Would have loved the black to have come up. 
would have loved the black to have come up a few more inches, but it hasn't, so he's going to be in trouble again here. I like sque squeezing another snooker in. This makes it almost unwinnable. <laughs> So Shane's hit that well. Hasn't left anything easy for Alec. So I think Alec will uh, Other than the pot in the corner. probably play another safety shot here. I think he's just going to pop this yellow out and put the white up, up uh, to the bulk end of the table. Promoting his sort of safe ball and... Okay. If he can hit this perfectly, he can get a kick up the ass, and put it up the top, but it needs to be spot on because there's not much room between the yellow. I think we use the, the word bottom. No, um, no, I use the word ass. Yeah, but that, that's not appropriate for commentary. We, we may have young children watching. Okay. Shane wants this over the middle. Jamie White disagrees. So I've got some messages asking me to sponsor them for the Pro Series. I, I was joking. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> apologies to anyone who, who messaged me hoping for sponsorship. That was just Jason trying to <coughs> bait me, unfortunately. I, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not rich. I can't afford to sponsor other people in the Pro Series. I wish I could. Uh, but leading into that, though, if anyone can, please give generously to these pool players of Australia. Um, and sponsor them for the Pro Series or the Challenger Series. Get on to get on to Dan for that. So the room warming up here. You can't see it on the screen, but there's uh, a lot of people in the venue. A lot of people um, lubricating generously. Shane with a chance on this black. If this goes in, oh no! I really don't know what happened there. I. I think it's, 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 uh... I don't think he was playing safe. We was are it? in full support in this league of gay pride. And that's why we have two of our rainbow operatives on the commentary tonight. It's beautiful to see, and I'm really proud of you, Blake, for standing up for what you believe in. Thank you to Ben Hood for his contribution there to the evening's commentary. Uh, I'm sure, uh, What's he mean by a rainbow operative? I'm sure all operative? the sponsors are delighted to hear that. Uh, in this production. What's what's a rainbow operative? Um, it's... Uh, Thank you, Patty. So we're being fed uh, refreshments here when we're fully stocked, uh, which is uh, great, but, but not so great. Okay, so Alec... Making uh, no, no problem with these here, and we'll take a 17-6 lead very shortly. Sorry, 17-7 lead. So Empire Pool Lounge in, in Adelaide will be warming up nicely with this on the big screen. I'm sure everybody's uh, started opening their account on Espresso Martinis. And... Uh, the celebrations are beginning to take full flight as Alec extends his lead to what could be an unassailable position, Jason. Do you agree? Yeah, it's looking that way, unfortunately. I think um, I think if Shane can just get a couple back, get his confidence up a little bit, obviously he's starting to feel the pressure now. But if he can just get a couple back, you never know what can happen. But it's not likely. But I hope so. Yeah, certainly been in this match as Shane for the majority of it. Uh, but Alec, with his experience, uh, you know, obviously one of the most accomplished players in the game, he's, he's uh, 
very difficult player to beat over, particularly over a long race, for sure. So you were saying to me before or earlier that you would be extremely scared of Alec and you would not play him in a money match for $5,000 because you fear that you... What would you say? That you don't quite stand up to his <laughs> level? Thank you, Jason. That's uh, really nicely, nicely worded. Not quite the... Well, I didn't say it. You did. Not so quite the, uh, the recollection I have, but, but, but anyway. You feared him. That's basically what I got out of it anyway. No, what I said was, just to put the record straight, is that, uh, you know, Come Alec on. for me is one Stop. of the strongest players in the country. And um, I've beaten most of the top players in the country in matches. Uh, Alec is one that I have not yet beat. And so I have the utmost respect for him. So the ones that you have beaten, you have no respect for? No, but you're again. You're you're putting words in my mouth, Jason. And uh, you know, considering we've we've honoured you with this uh, opportunity to commentate today, for you to to disrespect the both the stream, Cube Ball TV, the eight ball players of Australia with your your very lewd and negative comments no, is is, is really him. quite quite preposterous. Um, you do realise if it wasn't your birthday today, will, I would not be sitting here. Right people now. will forgive you. It'll take time, uh, but it could be some time. <laughs> You're probably lucky, you mate, not as anyone else out there. And here comes an actual great, Benny Noonan. Just unfortunate that the bloke sitting beside me isn't as good as this fella that's just rocked up. Went, and never will be. I've been told the commentary's been so ordinary that um, some help is needed. Yeah, I think you should take over from Jemma. Did you actually see that shot right there? That was amazing. It was a lovely I'm shot. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Can you the take rig, over from Jason, middle, please? Does, um, he's on. Yeah, so we're welcoming Ben Noonan to the commentary box. Jason Foster had a gallant attempt at being a commentator, which ultimately failed. Uh, just but we really appreciate your, your contribution, Jason. Please, <laughs> please stick around just in case I need a lift home. Um, I'm not sure if I do yet, but if I do... I want you to be here ready to take me home. Thank you very much. Okay, so Alex uh, left himself a quarter ball cut or similar, or even thinner than that, into the middle pocket. Black goes everywhere. Hopefully trying to Happy birthday, go on the Jason. black, as you say, it goes anywhere. And that's nicely done. He's going to slot this black, you would think, into the middle bag. And um, he's so joined in the commentary box by Ben Noonan, the great, the greatest player of, of Australian history of pool, Stop. Stop. apart from Quinton Ham. Stop. According to basically everybody, and so yeah. Alec missed an uncharacteristic he's black. Ben. He's, he's been a bit twitchy on a few blacks, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but but can you associate that with Twitchy when you're seventeen seven up though? I mean it, it, it has to be just like a concentration, tiredness. It, yeah. I mean it's been warm absolutely. in the room today, right? But, but you can't really say that's twitching, right? No, I can say it's twitchy because it was a bit twitchy. Um Alec would say the same thing. Um you don't miss those blacks uh, as the player that he is. I guess is what I'm saying, Steve. Thank you, sir. Uh, but um, he's missed a couple. But yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. Money games that go for a long distance do tend to do tend to see a few of those shots, a few of those misses that um, wouldn't be expected. So Shane would would be looking at this match as as a the chance that got away, right? Quite, he had some opportunities in the match, and, and you know, had he taken them, you know, would have been 
you know, ahead of Valak or, or very much in it, do you think? Well, yeah. I'm, I've, I've just uh, got here recently, but uh, I would have thought Alec would be favourite. Um, Shane's a great player. He, nice shot. He, he really deserves some recognition for his ability and, and uh, definitely to put himself up for a match like this. But That's right. Uh, he really needs to turn the screws on now. That's why, it. Not? why not? This is not... This yeah, not, this is all enough. Why, or nothing, why not just pop this ball in the corner and screw back and get on the yellow in the corner and screw back, get on the near the black and, and uh, get on the yellow in the corner and go game and give yourself a bit of confidence. Why not? And you've called it, Benny. Not quite got low enough for the bulk yellow, yes. but uh, he's still got a shot. Yep. He's going in the corner here and to screw into the yellow, yeah? He's tried to. Not quite worked out. But yeah, credit to Shane for taking on Alec. Obviously one of the greats of the game. It's <laughs> no easy task, but... Uh, you know, I, I rate Alec as, as one of the very best. He's the best. goat, mate. He's the goat. One of the best, or if not the best. Yeah. Well, he is. He is. Uh, he is the goat. Let's be honest. He's won. He's won more tournaments than anyone in Australia. So. Yeah. You, you've got to give him that credit. Um, it depends what you what you sort of weight these things on. You know, a lot yeah. of a lot of people. Uh, there we are. Ben, we're on. We're on the. <laughs> in the studio here with some great uh, carpentry done by um, by the local carpentry specialist and uh <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a great <laughs> one um, look I, I, I think Alec is by by far regarded um, by most as you know the greatest ever because he's won more tournaments than anyone else like at the end of the day that's what the goat is um, he, he has he's performed Overseas, he is um, not not to the degree to other other Australians, but he's um, in, in you know uh, singles wise. But definitely longevity. The man's won more tournaments in Australia than, than anyone else, and uh, you ca you just can't. That's right, and and yourself you once a semi finalist in the world titles, losing I think to Mark. That's not what I was trying to bring up, Jeremy. No, but no, but, I know, I know that. But uh, I, I I really really think Alec is um, by far the, you know, until until a few people get get a f you know a couple of Australian titles, uh, Jake. <laughs> um, there, there, there's a little bit there's a little bit um, there's a little bit out there to yeah. be. And to you know, the the and argument the argument is there is, is, and, is. and honestly that humbleness he's the goat that he's humbleness goat. about you and guys like Jake that you know, to me that's what sets you guys apart from, from many of the players um, I think Quinton Han winning the world title um, is you know a lot of people will hold him up as one of the best of, if not the best in Australia even though he's not won as much as Alec um but he hasn't played also, you know, so th there's, there's a few different sort of schools on it. Yeah. Um, you know, your semi-final performance obviously rates extremely highly, even though you, w you don't want to talk about it, which is credit to you for being a good bloke that way. Um, but I just but think yeah, I Alec, think Alec is the, the complete all-round player. Yeah, and, 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 he's still, and he's still playing, and he's still playing at a, at a, a very high level. Um, so yeah. good, you know. You know, and by, by the time... By the time we're 68, we'll, we'll be doing well to be playing as well as him. Mate, uh, if I'm alive by 68, I am flying. <laughs> I'm just I kidding, folks. Flying. Alex, you know, just over 50, I think, so uh, just just kidding. But um, uh, Shane, Shane's just uh, chopping up some rubbish here at the minute. But he's not... He's not <laughs> oh, look, it, it, it's... The, the gap in, in the, the frame score is obviously playing a part in this and um, and Alec has, has been stronger for sure in the second half of this match Shane was, was very much in this match first half um, but so Alec showing so his class how are, you, how are you actually feeling about turning 50 today Steve? Are you, are you, you're 
it's, yeah, it's yeah. about the third time that joke's been pulled today, okay. Ben, well, so I wish it was original. I actually think you look very well for your age, to be fair. Thank you yeah, very much. You, you yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I do. Um, we, we do speak about fitness here and I there. Do, and I do still get a you know, really large number of high volume of Valentine cards. That's that's how I sort of gauge you know, how I'm uh, looking, how I'm feeling. That's fair, that's and, fair. Uh, yeah. So that, you know, obviously it's not Valentine's Day yet, so life can only go on previous years. Okay, so just speaking about um, going game here, I, it, Alec doesn't need to do this to, to, to rub the ball off the rail. Um, it's, a, it's more of a feel thing. He didn't need to do that. but Yeah, and it's interesting, different players' choices there. Are y you, 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 you wouldn't have just given that a nudge, being guaranteed to be on no, the other you two? You just, you just get on the balls, um, in my opinion, but it... it it's how you feel, obviously, on the table. So yeah, um, the way he, the way he played it was executed perfectly. Yeah. But but you're quite right, Ben. It, it can go wrong if you try and go into balls, right? Yeah. It's, if and it's not necessary on a supreme, then don't do it. Is my opinion. Yeah, and and that's what I'm seeing. I've been watching a lot of the ultimate pool recently, Ben. And what I'm seeing is that players are not canning balls unless they absolutely have to. Is that your advice as one of the top players in the country? Uh, definitely on a supreme pool table, uh, uh, unless it depends on uh, again how, how you feel. Uh, but canning into balls compared to an Australian pool table uh, is is not necessary ninety percent of the time. Um, it's it's really is a a game of precision on on a supreme, and that's it's pretty simple. Like just get on the ball. Get on the ball. Whether it's down the rail, doubles are easy if you're feeling it, obviously. But it's it's, it's a common sense thing. The break is massive, as we know. Uh, Shane, Shane's about to break right now. So when you're Shane here at 197 or whatever it is, what? He's actually. What's your advice to Shane here? But my break, advice right now to anyone that, that's watched that break is that he is absolutely creamed that. He's just put a touch of right-hand side on it. Um, that was that, as good a break as you can hit with a touch of right-hand side. So, um, just creating more more problems for himself that, that, that yeah. That are needed there, unfortunately. There's probably a small case to go yellows there, right? Yeah. I think the, the opening yellow was probably harder. I would harder. have gone yellows. <laughs> but, um, but, um, but he was also, could have been luckier with the, the outcome from the extraction. Yeah, so. But here's the break again, thanks, Dan. Uh, he he so hit that absolutely perfect with a touch of right hand side, so it, it almost so went off. So, what? tell me about this right hand side. Is that deliberate? Well, clearly it wasn't deliberate, Steve. No, I, I don't know. I'm asking you a genuine question. I don't know. He he absolutely hit that perfect um, with a touch of right-hand side to sneak it towards the middle pocket. Uh, got a kick in with, obviously, the red or the yellow, whatever it was. Um, but that's the break you want. You, you want to be able to stun it dead center in the middle. And um, I think he put it three or four balls as well, so... Yeah, just got some some comments coming in on the. So Kira just saying he's up on the Australian title comments. It's the sore subject. Um, Rob Bowen has there What's been that? a world number four thoughts. What's that? I'm not sure uh, what that refers to. Uh, sorry, Rob. He's Scary. Is the table is playing very tight. Hence. Maybe ace dismounting poles off rails instead of uh, landing on them, which I uh, I don't disagree with. Scares. That's that's a good shot. Apparently, the table's playing quite tight, Ben. Okay. So what I've got from what you've just said is um, from Kira. Jake's the best player in Australia. Is what I said. Is that right? Is that right? No, that she's correct? just saying. No, no, no. That's what I don't said. Talk about him not winning the Australian title. No, but he's title the best player in Australia at the moment. Because okay, she's his fine. partner and, and wants, obviously, not to have any negativity about, about no, Jake. No, that's fine. But Jake's the best player in Australia at the moment. Um, Alex still potting out here very easily. Uh, what's the other one? He's the goat of Oz, no debate. Yeah, Alex is, yeah. 
Yeah, no one, no one actually questions that. I think. I think. Ah, lots of people question that. I think it's when you talk about world level that people. The maybe, Ice Man maybe is, sort of is by that. far the goat in Australia. Let's be honest. He'll actually he'll he'll borderline give me a like kiss at some point for saying that, but he doesn't really. He's, a, he's an unemotional human being. Yeah. But so he's he's still the goat. Twenty frames to seven. Still the goat. Alec, looking imperious. Uh, and what uh, are we looking at here? Jason Foster come back into the commentary box just briefly. Um, Recognised it was not a comfortable place for him to be and quite rightly okay. exited earlier for Ben Noon. Well, obviously Jason's a good... I don't know why you would come here and on your birthday and, and commentate, Paul. Um, a with fun, so, a with someone with, with your best mate, the, the guy that you really, really want to take home tonight, Jason. Jason, it's good to see you. Um, it's lovely to, lovely to be a part of your homosexual environment once again fantastic well played guys well look Ben you don't need to you know make the commentary derogatory any more than it has been earlier today with Jason okay but we'll we'll, we'll forgive you that you're you're a great player but you're obviously not a great commentator I'm terrible at it so <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to leave any time I'm kidding my man but more importantly a few people have asked a couple of questions okay I've got a question for you, Jemo. Okay, fire away, my man. Who is the best pool player? Um, well, I'm going to tell you right now that Alec is the, uh, at this point in time, the greatest pool player, of the GOAT of Australia. Okay? I'll, yep. I'll tell you that straight up. Yep. Um, doesn't mean he's the most talented. Doesn't mean he is um, someone that, that is going to be, you know, Winning multiple world titles on a on a string, like Quinton, I think could have. I yeah. think Quinton's the best I ever saw. Yeah. But but uh, Alec is is. So what what is your question? Sorry? My question is, um, who is the greatest you've ever seen, and who is the best in Australia that you've ever seen? Uh, sorry, who is the who is the goat in Australia, and who is the greatest you've ever seen? Is my question. Okay. So Personally. the greatest I've ever seen is is Mick Hill. Yep. I don't I don't think anyone can can deny he, he really is the, the best ever. And what, what what can you can you give me a reason why? The context is is not only the the six or whatever world championships he's got, um, but he, he's also uh, won ultimate pool, finished number one in the rankings in ultimate pool, which is the you know, the most prestigious pool competition, yep, yep, if yep. not ever, uh, last year. So that that's why Mick Hill. And secondly, for Australia, I agree with you. It's Alec Evernadis is the best Australian eight ball player of all time. Is the answer to your second question? Okay, perfect. Sorry, we should get back to the game, eh? We should. Uh, I think Alex got ball in hand. Is it on Reds? Yeah. So do you think Alex eyeballing the skill shot in the second shot of this break? Oh, he's just putting that screen into the red and then trying to create a... Yep, like okay. that. Oh, he's got a nice rub there. Yeah. That's, uh, that's worked out lovely for him. He'll, he'll just take this top right and push the white up to the middle of the table now. As Jimmy Jennings will know, he just gets upset about everything, even though he's absolutely perfect on that. <laughs> oh, he's decided to, to flick it around with a bit of side. That's the sort of thing Mick Hill would do, right? Big big exponent of the, the side of two rails is Mick Hill. The reason that Mick Hill is the best that uh, we've ever seen is because he is a genius at cannoning into balls and landing perfect on the next ball. Yeah. Um, his white ball control is just opposite. Same with Ronnie and Snooker. Yeah. White ball, white ball control is everything. Um, and... Those two are by far in their in their in their environment the the, the best that we've seen. I don't um, disagree with you, mate. 
Absolutely just don't. be able to uh, Mick, Mick, Mick Cannon's balls. Quinton, Quinton was the best I ever saw at um, getting on a ball that he couldn't off four or five rails and just land land flush. Um, amazing, but you know you can't keep that up. We only saw a little, little bit of him, I, I, I guess. So, so we got a question from chat um, from Michael Scary. Happy birthday, Jamo! Thank you, Benny. How has your preparation been leading up to the Pocket Series this year? <laughs> my my preparation has been. Um, I get it's a it's a funny question. Pool wise. Haven't seen the table too much, but uh, fitness-wise, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm um, about 10 kilos lighter than I was when you last saw me, Miga. Okay, good. I think you've proved in the past, Ben, that you know, with even with, with not playing too much, you've you've won major titles by sort of playing into the tournament and sort of building up to a. A, a form, if you know what I mean, not just sort of coming in, firing from the beginning. It's a very, it's a very mental game. Isn't well it? done, so Alec. Well done, Ice Man. Well done, Ice Man. Uh, awesome, twenty-one-seven. Well, uh, well done to Shane too for putting himself up and um, and uh, you know. That's right. It's not necessarily Crip. about money, but it's it's about putting yourself in the position yeah. to improve. Sh yeah, Shane's um, put his money up. He wants to challenge himself against the best. And, and then there's some more wise words of advice from Alec, who's a great guy, you know, to Shane, you know, you know this is where you could have gone better. This is what, you know, you know, you know this is what you should keep doing in the future. And, and that's wonderful to see. We, we don't need to see Jason Foster in the shot. That's that's inappropriate. <laughs> but apart from that, wonderful scene. No, good on you, Shane. Match um, played in great spirit. Good on ice, man. Well and played. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Just thanks. remember, the goat is back. He's ready to fire. Happy days. Yeah, yeah. I like everyone else is coming for, for silverware in this pro series. And uh, so are we. Let's go, everybody. Good night and God bless. Thanks, thanks, Dan. Thank Always. Thank Two ball TV. Always. Thank you, Ella. We ah. love you. Well played. <laughs>